That's right. It's the ultimate life form that I created, Chris. Tyrant. <laughs> Stop it. Wesker, you're pitiful. And you're gay. Please stop laughing at me. I worked so hard. I worked day and night on him. Please stop laughing. I'm getting real... angry. How's everybody doing tonight? Hello? Kind of a short intro. Hey, OP Silver, have you ever played the VR game This Chronia Chronos Alt? I have not. I've only two I've only played two VR games, and that's been FNAF uh, VR and Duck Season. Anyways, welcome everybody to the Resident Evil 3 Remake stream! Hey, Capsus. Welcome. Thank you for the one month. Hello, Suki. Hello, Turtle King. Hello, Mr. Bones. Hello, Neon the Cartoon. Moth Ghost. Turtle King. J-Rex. Typical Watch. Ancient Egyptian being from beyond this world. Apier. Egg. Three Loy. Hello, Buckcat Slayer. Hello, Unlucky Kitty. Phil, I was expecting... I was catching up on the Omori Vods and the RE4 Vods. I did not expect... RE4 to be more than that. RE4 is so fucking good. Hello, Dave. Hi, Fistum. I'm very excited. Thank you. Hey, Glitchy Stick. Hey, Digo. Hey, Qualge Qualgeist. Distilled Pizza. Hello, uh, Jolio Ortega. Hello, Stormcloud Strawberry. Hello, Nutella. Graphic. Nightcore. Superstar. Kind of an appropriate name for this stream, actually. Hey, Alucara. Hey, Little Fish. Hey, Gabriel. Hey, Jackal. Skameleon. Susie Bell. Nya Smut. Hey, Capsus. Boogie. Hello, Octo Joker. Jet Kai. And Super Swirl. So, the nightmare in Raccoon City begins again! What an appropriate thing to say on a Super Chat, Lori. Welcome to the Resident Evil 3 stream. Uh, if you've been here for the Resident Evil 2 remake stream that I did with Postra, this is going to be a bit shorter than that. We're gonna be playing a game that I haven't played for a very long time. Uh, fun fact, this is my least played OG Resident Evil game. I've only played Resident Evil 3 Original once. So I am very, very curious as to how I'm going to take this remake. Cause there's some parts of the original Resident Evil 3 that I really, really remember. Like the clock tower. Or meeting the original guy back at the truck. More evil residents. Thank you, Q-Boy. But there's some parts that are also not completely fully intact in my memory. So we'll see if this remake is going to live up to the expectations that I have from the original. Or if it's going to crash and burn and fail. I'm very, very, very curious. And obviously, I have not played the, uh, the the remake before. This is gonna be like a blind reaction to how the remake is going to make me feel. Uh, Tornado Reg super chats and says, Hi, Phil. I'm thinking of getting a membership. Remember to have fun in the game, bro. Thank you. I would be ever, uh, very much appreciate a membership. If you want uh, the difference between a septic membership and a toxic membership, uh, septics get emotes, and they get access to members-only streams. And the toxic members get all of that, but they also get to choose, uh, m like, toxic member-only polls. Like, if you're a toxic member, you can choose some games that I'm going to be streaming. For example, this Sunday, I'm going to be streaming Plants vs. Zombies. But there was a poll, and members could have chosen, like, Pizza Tower, P-Ranks, or they could have chosen, like, Hi-Fi Rush. But they choose Plants vs. Zombies instead, so I'm planning playing that. And also, you get a little thank you on the intro screen of the stream. Uh, hey, Ikea! Thank you for the $5. Hi, Phil. Currently in the car on a trip 
trying to draw as hard as balls cause it I can imagine, a lot. yes. Can't wait for some villainous tenants. We are going to have fun. Even if this game is not going to be a good remake, I think it's still going to be a good game. So we are going to have fun still. Hey, Cheeto, I made it to the stream. Welcome, Cheeto. Uh, Phil, when are you continuing Outer Wilds? That should ideally be like in the first two weeks of April. So I want to finish up Hi-Fi Rush and I want to finish Outer Wilds on April, if that's okay with you guys. Because next week is going to be Resident Evil 4 Remake and I'm not going to stop playing that game until I 100% complete it on stream. I am not going to stop playing that game until I 100% it. I am obsessed with Resident Evil 4 Remake. Did you see the reviews that just came out for that game, like today in the morning? IGN, PC Gamer, and literally every single other outlet in the fucking world gave it a 10 out of 10. It's gonna be so good! <laughs> so excited! Uh, so yeah, that's why I'm playing all these Resident Evil games this month, just so that I can take my mind off of Resident Evil 4. In like, like, for a bit, you know? Like, this is gonna be like, Th th this is gonna be my, my 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 little like 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 way to stave off the obsession for a while. Uh, Pissweek says this is gonna be a fun stream. Hell yeah! Also, thank you. Press X to Jason. Welcome to the toxic cesspit. Uh, Nick says Phil has been spamming me during the night with RE4 shit. Help! No! Come on, Nick. You know you're also excited for it. Come on, come on, come on, buddy. You know. Fighting the RE obsession with RE. Yeah, weird name. It's kind of like if you're addicted to tobacco, you are you use like a little a little bit of like tobacco patches on your skin to make sure that you don't get like you don't you don't get like the the urge to play uh Resident Evil 4 again. Speaking of which, next week I'm also going to do a Resident Evil 4 playthrough stream again, but it's going to be with a randomizer mo mod that I found and that's going to be really really fucking cool. Because I'm going to be playing that game basically with fresh new eyes. Because every single enemy and pickup is going to be randomized. So that's also going to help out stave off the RE4 obsession for a while. Uh, th thank you, Black Smile, for the donation. RE4 Remake is going to be awesome! Bingo. Thank you, Black Smile. Uh, Hypo Griffith. Uh, Super Chats, $10 with no message. But thank you very much. Yes. Spam E to confuse Fistum. Why? Oh, that's just a spam. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, hold on a second. I'll take care of the spam. Ah, oh, everybody's doing it. Don't worry. I uh, that the the guy that started it is deleted from existence. All right. I think I just want to go start the game. Honestly, I don't really have much to say. We are just gonna have fun. Uh, Delta Heatmore, Super Chats, $10, and says, Hey Phil, first stream of yours I've caught. Excited to see how things just go. Uh, just wanted to say that I really like your character's design. It's super cool and stuff. Thank you. Hell yeah. We're just gonna start. We're just gonna start right away. So, like I said before at the start, uh, the only time that I've played the Resident Evil 3 original was when I had a PS1 when I was a kid. And... <laughs> thank you, thank you, Delta. Hell yeah. Hey, Phil. First stream of yours I've caught. Excited to see how things go. Just wanted to say that I really like your character's yeah. design. Super cool stuff. Thank you so much. And Seamills has been a member for two months. The cutscenes in this game are really good, I think. Oh, yeah, that's the only good thing that you can say about it. Got it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Mr. Meow Super Chats uh, $1 with uh, 49 cents and sends a cat emoji. Yeah. Uh, El Dorito Super Chats and says, It's a good remake? No. No, it isn't. Good night. Oh, come on. Just because it's not a good remake, it doesn't mean that we can't have fun. I mean, hopefully it's a good survival horror, at least. I'm not sure. Resident Evil 3 already kind of did away with the with the survival horror form formula a lot. Like, the thing with Resident Evil 3 that makes it lesser compared to other Resident Evil games 
is that the survival horror formula was a bit less. Like, instead of having a big location to explore, you have smaller sections one by Still one. Still need to figure out what game to start with in my RE collection. RE2 Remake, not asshole! anything about the franchise much other than you fanboying. You, boy, you need to start with either Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 7, or Resident Evil 1 Remake. Either, either three of them work. If you, if you, if you prefer first-person shooters, start with RE7. If you want the best experience possible, start with RE2 Remake. If you need to start with the first game on the series, choose Resident Evil 1 Remake. That's what I recommend. Those are your three options. If I would choose any of them, I would choose Resident Evil 2 Remake, because that's one of my favorite games of all time. Like, top two favorite games of all time. Uh, Hypo Griffith, Super Chats, $5 again. Uh, trying that again, even if you end up not enjoying RE3, I feel like that RE4, uh, that will make RE4 a sweeter experience. Like the opposite of a palate cleanser? I mean, here's the thing, here's the thing. Okay, everybody, everybody, RE3 Nemesis, back when it came out, was also kind of a disappointment compared to RE2 original back when it came out. RE3 Nemesis, the original RE3, felt like an expansion pack or DLC to Resident Evil 2. And when the remake of Resident Evil 3 came out, people were expecting it to be a lot more expansive and a lot more survival horror. But then it turned out to be kind of a rushed, kind of a expansion to Resident Evil 2 remake. So I guess Capcom wanted to recreate the original feelings that RE3 gave people by having kind of a disappointing third game. I don't really understand why they did it that way. If, in my opinion, if you had the chance to make RE3 better, you could have just taken your time and made it like really, really, really good. But I guess they wanted to be faithful to the feeling? I don't know, it's weird. Oh well. Uh, Fisnum, this was planned to be a DLC for the RE2 remake. That doesn't make sense. I, the, I, uh, Cellbot, I thought that was a rumor. I didn't think that was gonna be like a confirmed thing. I am pretty goddamn sure that this was just another project that was given to like Capcom's B team. Because the Capcom A team that remade RE2 Remake was too busy remaking 4, you know? This menu music though. Oh no, no, no. Like the, the, the safe theme for Resident Evil 3 is the best. Absolutely the best. Uh, Tony Sonic super chats five dollars and says, "Don't listen to the haters. RE3 remake is a damn good game and remake. Every criticism I've seen is largely overblown." We'll see, Tony. You know how harsh I am with my criticisms. We'll see. We'll see, buddy. Don't listen to the haters. RE3 remake is a damn good game. We'll and see. Remake. Every criticism I've seen is largely overblown. Uh, Tony. The one thing- the one thing that I know about Resident Evil 3 Remake is that it doesn't have the fucking clock tower. I should clarify, Phil. I don't think the gameplay of RE3 is all that bad at all. Mm -hmm. I just think the game does a really good job with the cutscenes. Fair enough, I was just teasing you, C-Mills, it's good. Thank you, thank you though for the- for the- for the donation. Uh, press X to Jason, Super Chats $5. Well, I personally don't think it's a good remake, I still think that it's a fun and good game. Yeah. But yeah, like, like Navigator Ghoul, Ghoul is saying right now on the chat, they got rid of the clock tower and random events. The thing with Resident Evil 3 is that it wasn't better than Resident Evil 2, but it was more unique. There was a lot of cool shit on it. You could take different paths on the story based on what you decided to do with Nemesis on each encounter. Or you, you could have these little tiny mazes, like survival horror mazes, levels that you can ping pong around in. And you had the clock tower, which was like classic survival horror. But from what I've been hearing from people since this game came out, it got kind of rid of all of that. So I I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like if you're trying to remake a game, you should not be taking out content from it, you know? While I personally don't think it's a good remake, yeah. I still think it's a fun and good game. Smiley face. Uh, Nya Smut, thank you for the 20 Canadian dollars. Hey, Phil, I bought this game one- <laughs> There we go. <laughs> there we go. 
Hey Phil, I bought this game day one, beat it in one sitting and never touched it again. That is sad. RE2 Make was my first re I beat and I loved it. Yeah! Why does Capcom not seem to know how to use Jill well? They did her super dirty in RE5. Uh, Cup of Tea has been a member for seven months and says, Your RE2 stream sold me on the game and I've been loving it so far. Also, seven months already! Yeah. Yeah, Capcom doesn't know how to handle Jill. Uh, Void Helix says, Hey Phil, just wanted to let you know your content has really inspired me to try making YouTube videos myself. Keep up the great work. Yeah! I'm not really good at edited content at all, but I like streaming because I just get to record my reactions to stuff. Uh, Nick has been a member for seven months and says, Stars. 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 Also excited for RE5. Yes, tomorrow... On Saturday, we're going to be playing the entirety of Resident Evil 5 with Nick on co-op. Which means that I don't get to emote very much on stream, but you guys will be able to see two people play the game at the same time. Hey, hey. Phil. Yeah. Just wanted to let you know your content has really inspired me to try making YouTube videos myself. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Voida Helix. I'm just, I'm just playing games and having fun, man. If you're having fun with me, all the better. Uh, Killer Meme says, Sorta of new to Resident Evil, where should I start? Play Resident Evil 2 Remake, Killer Meme. Resident Evil 2 Remake. Either that, or if you like, if you prefer first person shooters, play RE7. Uh, Furtive Fox says, Not the best game, but not the worst one. Ha ha ha! RE6. Meh, how some, uh, at some point I'll have to get to RE6. At some point. Uh, C-Mail says, I'll also say the opening action of this game is, dare I say, RE6-esque? Uh... Well, in the original game, in, in the original RE3, you started the game by exploding out of an apartment building. So that's not completely out I'll of character. I'll say, the opening action of this game is, dare I say it, mm. RE6-esque. Mm. That still doesn't sound good. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hey, Gabriel. Thank you. These streams made me want to experience the Re-Universe, so I bought Re2 Remake, and I'm yeah! actually the game. Thanks for encouraging me. Yeah! You know, if I can get all of you motherfucking mascot horror, addi like, addicted guys into real survival horror, then I think I've done my job for these streams. Hey, Mr. Meow, screw it. What is your opinion on System Shock? I have not played any System Shock, Mr. Meow, but I know a lot of people that really respect that series. I'm really excited to play the System Shock 2 remake when it comes out, though. So, at least we have that. All right. All right. I think we're- I think we're good. Thank you, Mr. Meow. Dude, I love Resident Evil before FNAF. Good! Speaking of which... Time to actually get into the game. Game mode. Assisted, standard, or hardcore? Well, what do you think? Uh, hello, Torva. Just finished the RE remake stream and laughed so hard. Looking forward to this one. It won't be as hilarious, Torva, because I'm al I'm all alone, but, you know, it's going to be like a good time, I think. Thank you, Ashers. Ashers coming in and saying, RE6 isn't all bad. We have Jake's storyline, and I will die on this hill and say it's good. You fucking simp! Fucking simp. Sort of god. You do know that your man is like a fucking block of wood in terms of personality, right? Whatever, Ashers. Hey, Mac. I'm kinda split on this remake. When it does stuff right, I think it does it better than the original, but when it fumbles mm. the bag, it fumbles it hard. It's still a good game, though. All right. Let's see. Uh, Nick, obviously, is, is currently watching the stream. So he will bully me super hard unless we do the hardest difficulty in every single Resident Evil game. You're so mean to me. Bitch, have you even played Resident Evil 6? 
I hope you're watching the cutscenes. Come on, bro. All right. Let's go to with hardcore mode. Real life footage? This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I already don't like this. You want to know why? The original Resident Evil had a, like a full CGI cutscene of zombies roaming the streets for its for its for the start of its game. This is just fucking FMV. I don't like this. Yeah, the original Resident Evil 3 had like a cool FMV of people fighting zombies on the street. This is just a fucking commercial for Umbrella. Uh, oh well. Is that fucking Nemesis? It is! That's so ugly. <laughs> that is ugly as fuck, okay. Yeah, I also don't really like the design for Nemesis in this game. I prefer the original boy. This looks like the Resident Evil 2 movie. I'm pretty sure there's a set that looks like this in the Resident Evil 2 movie. And you all know how good those movies are. Codename Nemesis. Oh man, yeah, they didn't show zombies, people shooting zombies on the street, that's lame, okay. Wow, these graphics look so good. Wow, these graphics look so good, D. I, I like the text-to-speech catching the sarcasm because that's just an FMV cutscene. What the fuck? First person? Six is a fun game to make fun of with a friend in Coop, but it is an awful re-game. Then again, my opinions are bad since my favorite DMC is the reboot. Nya, the DMC reboot has its merits. If you play the... 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 The definitive edition. This is a weird intro. Hey, Chrissy. Question, Phil. What's your opinion on remake in general? And also, when do you think it is necessary? On remakes in general? Uh, they should be limited to games that are eight years or older, and they should only be done if the original game is worth expanding upon. But yeah, I love remakes, as long as they make the game better and don't cut fucking content out of it. There's an actual map of Raccoon City. Raccoon City Police Department. Electrical substation. Umbrella? Yeah, Jill, you fucking idiot. Is Jill just doing like the... Like the, it's always sunny in Philadelphia, like fucking corkboard meme? Why did you get a picture of a zombie? Actually, actually she see her shadow. So, are you still sleeping in your apartment in the middle of a zombie apocalypse? She has... She has toast. Moons donuts. Look at the cute raccoon patches. Rocket launcher. Jill sandwich! God damn it. Killer meme says, just got the RE2 remake for eight pounds. Thanks, Phil and Chad. No problem. Okay, so is this the mirror sequence? Yes, I saw this on the trailers. This looks a lot like Resident Evil 7. Ooh, 
That looks cool, actually. Trauma from the mansion, Jill? I'm very glad that we played the original remake. Original RE1 remake for this. Oh, you're getting fucked up, aren't you, buddy? Oh, you're getting fucked up, aren't you, buddy? Are you infected? I think you're shy, Mike. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jill. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jill! Oh, my God! Okay! Keep yourself safe, my dude. Okay, I like that. I do like that. Gets worse every night. September. Worst month of my life. Three more days. Then I can kiss this town goodbye. Escape Raccoon City. Oh, the doggy! Wait, where's her dog? She lives in an apartment, but where's her dog? Oh my god, Jill! This apartment's a mess. Not relatable, I guess. Doggy! Clean your room, asshole. The stars member. Jill's report. September 26, 1998. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I've found will prove to be my final duty as a Stars officer. I can only help that it... hope that it leads to the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected by the T-Virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows, which have eaten the infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed some symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period, or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant, even after this investigation ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Thank you, Cloaked, for the $7 with 77 cents. As for me, from, aside from some minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation period. And she's fucked up in the head after the mansion. I mean, I would be. I'm not blaming her. Mm. Okay, so the atmosphere is definitely... Way less RE6, like I was warned. It was much more sinister and foreboding. Investigation notes. Umbrella! The pharmaceutical company, industry leader, and market share. Focuses on, focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company. Also secretly developing bioweapons. The T-virus outbreak at Arclay Mountains Research Facility predicated, predicated the mansion incident. Conspiring with Raccoon City leadership, large donations to Mayor Warren's office effectively controls the city. Wow, they're just giving, like, the entire info dump in this one place. I guess for the people that didn't play the other games. Unsealed envelope. They've got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their window 24-7. Are they Irons' men? Umbrellas? I don't know, and there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever, it is... It is they do... Or whatever it is they do to people like me. You must pick up the investigation where I left off. I haven't closed my files. They'll tell you... Tell you everything you need to know, as long as the, this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. Yeah, it's, Jill is a fucking nutcase in this version of the story. In the original, she was just a badass that didn't really care about what happened. I guess this makes her more relatable? Message from colleague. To Jill Valentine. Hey, hotshot! How you holding up? 
I can't, still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the Force. When the Chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it that you're planning to leave Raccoon City? I figured that you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Chickenheart Vickers. Stars Alpha Team, now and forever. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the guys. All right, Brad. You fucking dick. That's the guy that rescue, rescued us from the heli, uh, on the helicopter back in the original RE1, by the way. He's an asshole, but kind of lovable. Minato's Pizza! We'll even deliver to Mars! Oh, look at that little alloyen! That's cute. Raccoon milk? There's beer- oh my god, Jill, there are- you're a big drinker, drinker, aren't you? Hello, Jens. You wanna look at yourself in the mirror a little bit? Oh, that's kinda creepy! <laughs> is it gonna be fine now? She's just like me for real. Yeah, Jill is a fucking mess. She would be a member of the toxic cesspit. Hello there, beautiful. I like her design. It took me a while to get used to, but I definitely like it. Yep, all's good! All's good, girl. All's good. Oh! September 28th, 8 p.m., Raccoon City. Who could that be? There we go. Look at her! What a badass. All right, I'm coming. You know, I guess it kind of makes sense that we played as Jill back in the RE1 stream. This is very continuous, actually. Shit's about to go down. Hello? Jill, are you okay? Brad? Brad, is that you? Yep. Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. That look right, that wall looks very breakable. <laughs> <laughs> yes it did. Yes it did. Hello, buddy! Right away? Oh! Oh, that ain't gonna do shit, Jill. He's wrapped up. All right, time to move. Move! <laughs> what the hell is that thing? Ooh, this is some gut guttural stars. Whoa! Time to get your cardio up, bitch. Obviously, the yellow tape. Jesus, fuck. No, okay, that's the hallway from the original. Good. Not skipping a beat. I love- Ooh! Hello! Oh my god, already? Don't get tentacled. Jill, 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 Jill! Jill. Go, girl. Jill, 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 Jill. Oh boy. I guess this mo this makes more sense as to why she escaped from an exploding like apartment building okay. compared to the original. Oh my God! Very persistent. 
He's angry because stars intercepted his pizza. Always about pizza with you people. Ah! 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 That's a cool sequence. Yeah! All right. Threat established. I like that. Wait, there's normal people still around? Over here. Hey, Brad. Brad. You okay? What we we don't meet you until like an hour into the original. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. I like that you look you look like you have a fucking life vest. Go. Let's go, yellow man. How did this all happen so fast? I don't know. Whoa. always leads to another. Whoa, this city looks awesome! Oh! Hey, wait. Down here. Damn it. Oh, this looks awesome! Whoa! Oh, so Brad, Brad are you gonna you die immediately? Is chasing you, but think of it like this, you get a very good workout. Thank you, LG. Okay, this looks like the intro cinematic of the original. I like that. Fucking run! Was that Morgan? That was fucking Morgan on the sign. Okay, this is very different. Oh, you fucking idiot. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. You're gonna die already? I love the fact there's caution labels all over Nemesis's suit, as if you need a warning to tell you he's dangerous. That's very dangerous. Oh, she's. Bye bye, Brad! Jesus. Sorry. You didn't have, even have a gun prepared on you. Oh, Brad is just dead. Okay. Uh, just run. What are you doing, Phil? Wasted all your bullets. Yeah. Ah. I guess not? This is so extremely fucking different already. Uh, what about the... Yeah, 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 yeah. The dude! Hello! Are you gonna go into the the back of the truck? Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah! Okay, I thought this was cut. You're gonna die, bro. Is there some, like, gunpowder behind you? No. This is so fucking stupid, bro. Own, Missy. What? Missy? I'm a cop. Would you please calm down? I'm a police officer. I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you've been doing a bang up job. I mean, we're not really built for this. Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks. Oh my god, asshole. Sir, this is your last chance. No one else is coming. I'm really trying to help I'm you, not going dude. Anywhere. Rather start to death and hear to be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Well, okay, that's your that's your that, that's your prerogative, I guess. Fuck you. Nice. Oh, this inventory is different. Oh, this is very different. I thought it would just be like uh Resident Evil 2. Alright, Dario, you piece of shit. You know, some people just choose to die. You, you can't really... Whoa. 
Doggies! If they're such idiots that don't even fucking follow someone that's clearly trying to help them, then fuck them. What an asshole. Why wouldn't you listen to police officers in an emergency situation? Whoa! Tip for the shooting, if you hold you aim steady for a few seconds, the reticle will close and your shot will be more accurate. Yeah, yeah, I very much know that trick, and that also increases the chances of oh! <laughs> of a critical hit on the zombies. Pet the popper? That's kind of impossible at the moment. Can the dogs get infected? Yes, you saw them. You just saw them. You just saw them being infected. Come on. I'm back and ready for more RE content. Welcome, Seabass. We just started the game. We're just doing the, the original escape sequence. I'm liking this escape sequence, though. Hey, Yo! Way more action-y, though. Don't- okay. Gonna get blown up in three, two- There we go. <laughs> no escape. No escape! Sorry. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Are you- no, don't, that's a horrible idea. Jill? Jill? Oh, come on. Start, damn it. Jill? It's my turn, bitch. Alright! Whatever you say, girl. <laughs> you fucking idiot! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You fucking idiot, Jill. What do you think is gonna happen? Are you okay? Oh. Yeah, that's internal bleeding right there. Oh, I like that voice. Nyan says, wait, where did Jill get the holster and belt from? Shut up. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, you're way more of a badass now. Got it. Ooh. What? Hey, Orange. Welcome to the Toxic hey, Test Bay. Easy, lady. I got you. Who are you? What do you do? Carlos. I'm saving you. All right. Uh, Let's get you someplace safe. Wait, did we just skip the entirety of the start starting sequence with like and just gonna meet Carlos already? All right. I also, you're Foxy clear. Gamer. Welcome back. But you don't so. you don't have to apologize for We've being absent. Here. It's okay. Just sure, come in and yeah. join us. My uh, guys thank have you. converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. Wow, did we would just skip right to this? I'm fine. <laughs> Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, hello, Carlos. That's weird. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit to close this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know hey, about Nick. that monster? I finally managed no, to catch your stream. Like this it. is a vicotry no for me. Zombie. Anyway, how are you doing today? I'm having a pretty good time. No thanks. He's Thank you, Nick. Listen, I promise you're in good hands. Yeah, you seem like a cool guy, Carlos. Never mind, they're assholes. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you talking about? We're just a mercenary service, dude. But I'm going to the shelter. You coming? This way. Dino bites. So tasty, they might go instinct. Red and yellow. Those are literally just ripoffs of the M and M's. Carlos is a good boy. He's just working for very bad people. Will robots surpass humanity? Science forum. 
Oh my god, that's fucking Wily and Dr. Light from Mega Man. That's a cool reference. Lobster, Jim's Crabs. Bull. The clown from It. That is Alien. Well, no, that's Alien and Terminator at the same time. Shoot the lobster. Why? That was just a meme. I've been tricked. Astro Crunch. Greek Cinema. They are nice posters. Big E. Mega Man! Ooh. Fighting story. Piracy under the waves. Hell Squid. Tyrant of the Deep. Put a lot of detail into this city. Hello? Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Hello, Nikolai, you piece of shit. Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of... Our he already know. He already knows. And rescue service. He already knows. Her name is something Valentine. Jill. It's Jill. Jill Valentine. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My Professional team asshole. Sent here to rescue civilians. Quote unquote, rescue. Right. Wait, you're hurt? How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Hey, Phoenix. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more Off than topic I can question. No. I mentioned well, during the RE2 make stream that I got SH2 yes. recently. Well, Do you have any advice for how I should approach can. that game? No, we the topic of the stream of Resident Evil 3, morning. but thank you for the donation. We can evacuate some survivors. Oh, there are actual survivors oh, here. We need help. My men cannot do this alone. I'm in. Yeah. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. You're gonna be a hero. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, Super Cop. Carlos is so fucking hot in this one. Go. We can use this to stay in contact. Super Cop. I know what a radio is. First things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Look at these guys. They actually managed to rescue some people in the metro area. Shit, Captain. Your location in downtown RC. Nothing that I miss. Health fast. Make every day a health fast day. Did they put some herbs into that? Did you actually get bitten, or was just like a flesh wound? You got a pretty bad boy. I like this music. Shoot the survivors. No. All right, super cop, let's go. I like that they're asking Jill for help, even though she's like a walking disaster magnet at the moment. Hey, Jill, please help us save the survivors as you bring a giant Quick death update. machine After with uninstalling you. After uninstalling some things from my Steam Deck for Space RE2 Remake is slowly with my home internet installing on it. Thank you, Q-Boyd. Uh, UBCS Ammo Crafting Guide. On the battlefield, if you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. Want to stay alive out there? Then get these basic formulas into your skull. Fun fact, the original Resident Evil 3 is the one that brought about the idea of combining ingredients to make uh, ammo in the series. 
Uh, handgun ammo, gunpowder, just like the RE2 remake. Shotgun shells, gunpowder, high-grade gunpowder, just like the RE2 remake. Mag ammo, high-grade gunpowder times two. Perfect. Once you're stocked up, get out there and join the party. Let's give those dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become the sir. Uh, quick question, since I'm a dumbass. Does RE3 take place around the same time as RE2? A little earlier, perhaps? Bonsi. RE3 takes place in, sep in September 28th, 29th, and 30th. So, and Resident Evil 2 uh, takes place on September 29th. So... RE3 takes- it's like a prequel, midquel, and sequel to RE2. So, yeah, you, you'll see- you'll see what happens. Like, this is gonna take like a... Funnily enough, this is one of the shortest RE games to, like, play through, but it actually takes up the longest in the timeline. It's kind of weird. But yeah, at the end of this game, Raccoon City fucking blows up. Sorry for the spoiler, but everyone should know about that. Tabloid front page. The Cannibal Murders, a complete digest. So for everyone that hasn't been here for Resident Evil 1, this is the story that you need to know. In the gray of the morning of September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled like a vagrant was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. And res the responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body, and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of this kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? We here at News Comet have been gnaw a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patient Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated the Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn up the page for the scoop. So that's basically the incident that started it all. AS5? So question, you seemed surprised by the fact we got to this subway. Yeah, Does really fast. Does the past an entire section of the original in this remake? Yeah, there was, there was an entire city block that Jill was supposed to go to before meeting Carlos. You were supposed to have, like, a fight with Nemesis in one of the locations in the city before meeting Carlos, so... I guess that entire section is just gone? Weird. Jill? It's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? We did kind of have a fight. It was a cutscene. You might get the subway infrastructure back online. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's oh my that. god. They just... They just give me everything and... F oh, oh my god, why? Alright. Uh, that's a lot of... That's a lot of stuff to give the player right away. Hey, Pastor, how you doing? Combining items. Some items can be combined with other items. No, duh. Ooh. Wait, what was the shortcut for the knife again? It's not space this time. The shortcut for the knife. Well, I don't really have key binding. Quick turn, run. Oh, making use of the map, okay. Haha, he thinks there's a shortcut for the knife. There isn't? What do you mean there isn't? It was there in RE2 Remake. What? I didn't even 
hear about this, what? Put the knife in one of the slots. But, but you could just take it out and... That's fucking stupid! All right, well, I guess... I guess that's what why we have a quick uh, change, I guess. They cut it because the knife is useless. All, all right. Thank you, Nyan Smut. Good thing the gunpowder comes with the casings, yes. UBCS Herb Field Manual. There's no place in the UBCS for pipsqueaks who crawl back to the base every time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss your boo-boo? Go someplace else. Here's the big leagues. Here in the big leagues, we mix our our own herbs, so get the recipes memorized. Yep, yep. First aid spray. Can make these yourself. Grab them. Grab them if you see them. No. By the way, just uh, if you're new to the streams, I don't pick up first aid sprays. I just discard them. Fuck aid. Fuck first aid sprays. Uh, that should do it. Uh, get this done and then go grab a beer. Hold on a fucking second. Yeah, 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 got it, got it. Uh, hold on a motherfucking second. Green herb times two. Green herb times red herb, or green herb times three. Where the fuck is the blue one? Surely it'll be later, right? A good thing the gunpowder comes with the casings. The blue weed is gone. Oh, hey, finally, a puzzle! Commemorating the grand opening of the Kite Bros Railway. It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right... whatever it is. Shut the fuck up, Jill. You've been through the Spencer Mansion. Right, we're just gonna leave that here. Uh, we're in hardcore mode, but we don't have ink ribbons for this, so that's weird too. Ooh, listen to the song. Yeah. After Rhea was announced, they added Nemesis to Re2R. You can hear him says stars outside the RCPD main entrance if you go next to the side gate. I am aware of that, James, and it is awesome. I am pretty sure that they only started work on the RE3 remake once they knew that RE2 remake was going to be a success. That's why they, like, retroactively added those hints to this game, to the RE2 remake. What a cool way to tease a new game, by the way. Alright. Yeah, um... This is not bad so far, but I have some questions. Specifically to do with this. But... We'll see, I guess. Has he started yet? We pretty much have just begun the main game. Yes. Is Jill going to save a single person? Oh my god, Phil! I just realized that this knife does not have durability, so that part of the RE2 remake is gone. Alright, well, that was an easy zombie. Ooh, listen to this song. I guess we just continue through here. This is completely fucking different, Jesus. I recognize some of this, but... What about the side door? No, there's nothing. Oh! Alright. Ah! 
<laughs> That's satisfying. Oh my god! Wait, quick time events? Fuck out of here, man. Yeah, no, this layout is just completely different. Toy uncle, everything you want, super chop! This does look amazing, though. Is that where Leon and Claire came from in the RE2 remake? Super marking. Pat a beer. Umbrella noodles? Oh, look at that fat boy. Right. Wait, does Phil know about the perfect dodge? I am aware, yes. So you need to open that up with probably a bolt cutter. Let me guess, you're gonna get up uh, later? Nope, that's just a prop. Love me some umbrella noodles with the really T-Vita spice. Do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean okay. the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. Nice! Fuck you. Calm down. Yeah. Gotta put this out. I understand that. Probably use some kind of tool for that. Uh, Sunny Animate says, What is your favorite aspect of RE games? My favorite aspect is opening up a puzzle box location slowly, trying to open up, solve puzzles, and use resources to take care of your threats. That's an explosive barrel. Neat. Uh, this game should have been bundle free with RE2 remake. I don't know. Currently, there's a lot of uh, budget and effort being put into this, so it being free would have probably been a huge waste of money. But maybe it could have been DLC. I don't know. Storehouse, Blue Mountain. Yeah, look at all these unique locales that weren't in the original. Moon's Donuts. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Well, they're still taking just as much punishment as they did in uh, RE2 remake. I guess that does something. Alright, well, we've run out of ammo, so... Ooh, I recognize that. Let's see if we can go over here. Yeah. 15 bullets? <gasps> the RE2 original credits theme! Da -da, da -da -da. I need a lock. Right. Examining items. Right, red jewel. Imitation root. Surely that'll be useful. I don't know how to feel about not having ink ribbons in hardcore mode. I feel like that's kind of a essential part as to why hardcore mode worked in the, in the remake. Na 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 na, da na. -na. 
stab him in the dick. Stab him! Stab him in the dick! Where's the radio for that? The sound is playing, but from where? From fucking nowhere, I guess. At least they made sure to keep the amazing, like, safe, uh, safe room theme from the original. That's the one thing, like, you can't fuck up. Hey, Phil, how much do you love bloodshed? I love me some gore, my dude! And there's no radio or anything. Where the fuck is this coming from? Whatever. Alright, well, get these together. <laughs> oh, I missed one. I like that he's flanking me. Is that me, or is Jill zooming in way more than Leon in the in the second game? Oh wow, you were weak, bro. That's a lot of ammo. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay. Asshole. That's an RPD officer. Sorry, bro. Uh, Pissweek says, Does RE6 deserve a remake? No, it really doesn't. It really, really doesn't. What? God! Really? Second time I fall for that. Oh. Hey Phil, how's the game so far? I... That's good. Just a bit, I'm questioning a bit, uh, the decisions. <laughs> nice timing. Okay, but now we're getting into it, now we're getting into it. Redstone Pharmacy, happy to assist you. Please, okay, okay. Here's a mark of if it's a good rem remake or not. We are going to go down this long open catwalk over here. And if there is a big fucking door in the middle of the catwalk that leads to a room with uh, with a bunch of zombies that explodes out, then it's going to be a good remake. I know that's very specific. Oh my god. I know that's very specific, but that was a cool moment in the original game. You know what deserves a, a remake? Code Veronica. Yes, it does. Let's let's go see. Let's go see. Let's go see that big catwalk. Let's see if there's a big ass door uh, through there. Oh boy. Oh my god. Open that up. Oh, you're getting up again, too. Nice. Okay, let's see. Let's see where this catwalk leads. 
please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. That's good. Fuck. Can we, like, get up from there? You can clearly see this, like, yellow ladder over there. Can you get up there, Jill? Guess not. Brother. Haha! <laughs> Gotcha too, bitch! Okay, that leads to there. Where is that door? Where is that door? Where is that door? Where is that door? Healing sprays are everywhere! Banana. Thank you, Technomorph. Okay, it should be, like, around here. I mean, no, it's... <sighs> Fine. Uh, yeah, no, that's... That's not where it's supposed to be. Alright. Fair enough. Thank you for the gunpowder. Stop giving me so much ammo. Drugstore's drug owner's journal. August 24th. The new hair tonic um, from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff they they make is always works with wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this and order a huge sh shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That says, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all this cash I'm rolling in? September 2. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code. Not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aqua Cure Queen. And she'd never get a, give it up for a thief. Interesting. 937? Alright, well thank you, chat. Sick. One of the advantages of being a streamer, I guess. That is usually a part that you would get for the handgun if you fought Nemesis. But alright. Screw the puzzles. Well, getting a combination is not really a puzzle, is it? Are you the drugstore owner? I am very sorry. You're not, you didn't even put cash on the safe, dude. Fuck you. Oh no, wait, this was the drugstore owner. Oh, they made this so much worse. Alright, whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. That was just a small part of the game. I can't be, like, nitpicking everything. There was no door in the catwalk area. Usually, okay, chat, if you don't know what I'm talking about, usually, in there's, there's a catwalk, catwalk section at the beginning of the game, in the original game, where if you go through it, there will be a door in the middle of the catwalk that will explode out with zombies, like, about to grab you. But... I guess there isn't. Hello. Oh, you... Wow, you're really loving the explosive barrels, aren't you? That's kind of a cheat. They put them right next to the barrel. Alright. Uh, Nya says, Oh, uh, guys, Lance Reddick just passed away. The Netflix RE Wesker. Rest in peace, Lance Reddick. Man. Poor guy. 
Yeah, they're giving me a lot of ammunition. Fucking my god! Giving me a lot of ammunition, but a lot of zombies to kill. I guess we're gonna have to avoid that one. There is a key item. Oh, is that a fucking shotgun? Gimme, 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 gimme. Gimme, 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 go! Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. It's gonna take a bit. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Just get juked, asshole. Give me that weapon. Fire hose. But that is for the other thing. Subway employees memo. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. I got a shotgun for when it hits the breaking point. Looking it up in the gun rack, that should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out and try to find more shells. If things go south, cut the chain and bust out that sucker. I pray we'll make it out alive. Give me some gunpowder and a hand grenade! That works. Yeah, we need a bolt cutter for that. What's up with re the new Resident Evil Renaissance games and having bolt cutters in them? All right. Watch your ankles, Phil. Yep, these fuckers really love to get up. They only take a sink. Oh, 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 oh. Never mind my stupid ass. That should be fine. The only enemies that have gotten me have been the floor fuckers. This must be the subway company's offices. It's a neat prop that isn't a key. Fair enough. Donuts! Nice! Yeah, I have not gotten any of the bubble heads because this is my first playthrough of the game. I still need some key. Tight Bros Railway Manual. Ensuring the safe, safe subway operations. In the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, please use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and operations will not resume. That seems... Pretty stupid. Nothing. Oh wow, look, nothing. The ankle nibblers. Alright, uh, we need to remember to get a bolt cutter for the shotgun. And do we have enough ammunition to deal with that guy? If not, I can just use the hand grenade. Ah, we can just pass him by. Maybe find some ammo over here. Oh boy. Got it! There's the combination! Thank you, Aqua Cure Lady. Oh. Commit death! That should be for the shotgun. And there was nothing else over here. <gasps> Alright, we're we're moving at a nice pace. Just need to find where the bolt cutters would be. Wee! I guess this is the last place that we haven't explored. Ah, uh, still need the bolt cutters. All right, time to put out that fire, I guess. Wee. Raccoon City, the weed capital of America.
We don't need that. We... Ah, uh, we're gonna keep that for emergencies. Don't need that. And... I guess we'll leave the ruby for now. Legalize herbs. Everything should be taken care of. I don't think I missed anything. Toy uncle! That is so creepy. Okay, this game is hitting its stride. I can see where it's where, like what it's going for. It's like a bit more actionized, but still competent Resident Evil game. That was a weird animation. Reactivate power at the substation. <gasps> Go, motherfucker. Two safe rooms. Is someone in here? All right. Shotgun time? I think we'll have to wait for shotgun time for a little bit. What's up with these locks? Do I need a lockpick for that? Maybe a small key? Hello? Hey! The buddy! Are you gonna explode yourself? No, 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 wait, please! Oh! What the fuck? He was infected. He might have been infected. He was definitely infected. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Motherfucking Nikolai. Go back to the subway station. I don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. That's a good way to introduce that asshole. Man. I guess he didn't have much of a purpose in the original either. Training log. July 10th. Suck it, prison. The Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job. A job! Don't know how they're gonna wipe out a life sentence for murdering 20 gangbangers, but whatever! What the fuck?! I'll take it. Beats shitting away at the rest of the days behind bars. I gotta get back into shape. Caught the chain yesterday and got moved to UBCS training camp, where I fired my first bullet in two whole years. Missed a stationary target by five inches at 400 yards. Never, I never fucking do that. It's like I forgot everything. Doesn't matter, I'll get sharp again. Watch me. Okay, I've got my shot grouping down three to three inches. Feeling good, feeling good. After lunch, they put me through my first mock battle. The Cap and the other guys are good people. And goddamn beast at war at that. What the fuck is up with that lunatic Nikolai? He used me for as a fucking human shield just to score some extra points. Murphy's back, baby. You'll never see me miss another target. Tomorrow I got go to my first mission. Ride control in Raccoon City. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to teach or to reach out and help other people. Right up until those street punks took him away from me. Now it's my turn to do some good for a change. The way I know best. Aww. You murderous uh good maybe kinda nice person. Murderous nice person, yes. Ah well, it's a it, it's it's a mercenary, whatever the fuck. Could I have a return to that place to open up the shotgun area? No, we need to come back there anyway. No, never mind. Are you a zombie? Are you a zombie? You have a different model, so you're probably not a zombie. Nope, my rif knife goes right through him. UBCS suicide note. Okay! September 28th, the Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa. I thought I knew what the hell was. 
I figured I'd never crack, no matter what was th thrown at me. But this job? This one was supposed to be easy. A quick wage. I'd earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles. And yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through enough shit to not only... I've been through enough shit to know it only ever gets worse. And if that was just the beginning... Maybe I'm just a coward. I don't care. This is the only way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up after I pull the trigger. Keep yourself safe, my dude. Oh yeah, Sumi. Oh yeah, Sumi. Electrician's note. Public use generators provided by Raccoon City Electrician's Guild. Due to the ongoing power outages, the guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Everyone is welcome to use them. But remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. If one were to be struck or impacted by gunfire, anyone standing nearby would get electrocuted like some kind of video game. Handwritten edition. You got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it. Don't do anything stupid. Safety first, as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain sale prices. Your neighborhood, neighborhood electrician, Sam. Aw, damn, Sam. Is that a... F Is that flesh? Oh my god! Right away? You didn't even introduce them properly? Fuck you, doggy. Oh. Oh. All right. All right. Kind of a weird way to introduce those, but I guess I, I guess it worked. Am I skipping parts of the map? Nope. I am going in a... Straight... Line. Huh. This is so fucking different. So no shotgun time? That'll be for later. Don't worry, chat. I promise shotgun time will be later. Probably when we meet Nemesis. Wow, this is fantastic. Uh, how is it so far? I guess it's working. It's a little bit like abridged. Oh boy. All right, well, I'm out. Oh. <gasps> Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I need to I need to learn how to dodge properly. We we go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, 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 okay. Get me bullets. Get me bullets right now. Get me bullets right now. Okay. That guy doesn't give a fuck. If only I had a green herb, or if I had just saved that other green herb. And um, no, Chad, I'm not gonna pick up a health spray. Already an expended inventory? Okay. Hmm. Facts from Substation Chief. To all employees, in response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we've implemented an in intentional power outage. Once the situation has been brought under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on the main power switch in the control room to reactivate the power grid. I don't know how to feel about this. How was 
how was it in the original? It, uh, I, I can't find a point of comparison, Looney, because this is just completely different. This is just like a different game. This is not a remake. It seems fine enough so far. It's just weird. I also need to cover this. But is it good? It smells like... Oh, We're getting the insects it. already? Oh, it's Jill gonna get throat fucked in here? Oh, I hate it when that happens. Let me just grab one of these first. Green herbs, how they work. It was starting to look like, a, like Chad was never gonna come back from his round, so I poked my head in there and fuck me. Next thing I know, I've got some kind of maggots squirming down my throat. I was gagging and heaving, but those little bastards didn't seem to mind none. They just wouldn't come up. I was staring around like a madman, and then I saw it. A green herb. Ah, shit. My grandma once told me that green herbs are a natural bug deterrent, so I grabbed one, shoved it down my gob, and swallowed. And what do you know? The little things didn't want to be there anymore. I've never been so happy to throw up. I'm gonna get, go head back out to look for Chad. If anyone sees this, remember, eat your greens. All right. I guess... It I guess Jill's gonna get throat fucked in a few minutes. Hold on a second. This was also in the original, by the way. But I'm in, like... Let's see how this looks. Why would you say it like that? Casp... Casp... Cap says. Just like... Come on. Substation internal memo. The key high, the key to the high voltage area has gone missing, and the earliest we'll be able to get a replacement is next week. In the interim, a lockpick, yeah, will be provided to the senior employee on duty. We only, we only have one lockpick and can't afford to lose it, so please keep it in its carrying case at all times when you're not using it. And please, could you all check just one more time you did not accidentally take the key home? If you happen to find it, please bring it to Kate in admin. Only I had my lockpick. Master of unlocking. Box. It's gonna jump out. It's gonna jump out. It's gonna go jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. Jump out. <laughs> yeah! Ew. Thank you, your local phantom. If Mr. X and Nemesis fought, who would win? Uh, Nemesis, absolutely, 100%. That doesn't mean I prefer him, oh though. God. This is for the ruby? No, it isn't. Yeah! Lock pick! Lock pick! Lock pick! That is the shittest optional area to go in a Resident Evil game I've ever seen. I'm sorry, I'm gonna- I'm gonna sound like I'm gonna complain, like, I'm gonna nitpick the shit out of this, but like... Oh, hey, we got a key item. Time to go back to open up that door, right? And then you go into the side area that has a single goddamn, like, box with a resource. That is such a pointless fucking area. Ugh, okay. You could have just had the box, like, right there. Why? Ah, whatever. All right, throat fucking scene, let's go! <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yup. Oh, that's disgusting. Parasite. All right, all right, calm down. So no, oh! I know, right? So I guess no blue herbs, huh? Thank you, Nyasmut. As a not safe for work 3D animator, the amount of art based on that scene I've seen is too much. Yeah, they knew. They knew. 
Creepasoids. Alright, so at least this area seems faithfully recreated. Fucking hell! Maybe I should have gone back for the shotgun. Ooh, look at that human head. I need to go to those generators. Oh, this part is annoying as fuck. Well, it wasn't the original, so I guess they're keeping the spirit. Alright, gel. Looks like a classic camera angle. Oh! Oh! They blend with the environment! Fuck you. I have very little ammunition left. Oh my god. Okay. Hi, Phil. I've been watching David's stream. Hello, H2 Cool. Welcome to the stream! Oh boy, they coming. Oh boy, they coming. Oh boy! Oh, 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 oh! I'm at caution. I should not be doing this so... <gasps> so liberally. Was that an herb? Did I miss a herb? God damn it. I'm gonna die. Herb, 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 herb! I'm gonna die. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, hello! <laughs> I'm sorry, Jill. Get the fuck back in there. At least I can give myself the challenge of not dying once on this stream. I have one more bullet left. Get the shoddy! I refuse. Mm -hmm. No. We can do this, chat. We can do this without the shotgun. We only have two more to go. Disgusting. Do they even explain why these things are here? Fuck, 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 fuck. Dodge! Dodge, 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 dodge. Don't forget about the dodge button. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! Can we find some ammo over here? Nope, it's never explained. Amazing. A gun with one bullet! Fuck, 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 fuck. Coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. Need to go back, need to go back, need to go back, need to go back. Need to go back. All right, we're doing perfect. Uh, Chad's notes. What happened to this place? I've seen some strange shit over the past few days. Those strange bugs building their nest, that metallic smell wafting through the vents. But fuck, if it didn't go all go straight to shit overnight, I need to check in with my with my up down, but the boss says I can't leave until I drop all the breakers. God damn it. Better finish up quick so I can get out of here. Well fuck me, my stomach hurts so much and I can hardly move. At the last breaker, that big ugly bastard of a f bug got the drop on me and shoved the Big fucking dick down my throat. I managed to get away, but I somehow kept from vomiting on the spot. Fuck, it hurts. It feels like I'm gonna... Something's moving inside, holding it together. Can't believe I haven't puked. Fuck, it hurts. 
I love you, Mama. Jesus. Right, all 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 right, Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Oh! <laughs> oh fuck! Can't really watch my six. God, jail! Come on! All right, that worked out. Okay, all that leaves is the main power switch. Let's see. Phil activated monkey mode. I guess that sequence is over. Yeah, see, I never understood why those things were there in the first place. Even in the original, they just showed up. Whatever. It's the characters from Fortnite. I hate myself. Why did I read that? Carlos, it's Jill. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Really? Way to go, partner. One step ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's actually get some um some of the resources that we missed from these lockpicks. Nice. I guess that's a that's a really good way of locking out resources from you uh, before you can backtrack. Uh, let's see which uh, areas which areas had these lockpick thingies. Fucking lot of them. This one, it's probably a mutated version of the virus. Yeah, see, that's what I would think, but the T-Virus usually doesn't mutate like that. The T-Virus usually, like, mutates existing, existing animals into bigger versions of themselves. But that seems to be like a human, like a chimera combination, like the ones back at the Spencer Mansion. Not sure. All right, well, time to head back. Father Garcia, Grind said. Yeah, we will. <gasps> Get the fuck out of there. Okay, he just showed up out of nowhere. Go, 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 Well, if I had to die from someone, it would be Nemesis, wouldn't it? Fucking hell. Oh, it still has checkpoints. I don't even need to worry about saving. Alright, well. We really need to get used to dodging to be able to get through this game. That was a, such an obvious breakable wall. Why didn't I see it before? Go, 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 Bye-bye, asshole. Yep, that works. No problem. Just take it like a champ, Jill. Oh, you got shitting me. Ooh. Oh! Yeah, uh, so I guess the remake, uh, successfully carried the feeling of Nemesis running towards you. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that's how it felt like, yep, yep. Oh, that's so fucking scary. <laughs> Fuck you. Stars. Thank you, Thim Sands. Did they? 
Oh, I took that. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Alright, uh, let's try to get the shotgun before anything. Uh, where was the shotgun? Did I miss it? Nope! It should be in the pharmacy area. Where's the pharmacy? Off. Oh, no. Nemesis wants his pizza back! Where the hell was that? It's in subway control. Got it. So we will go to the donut shop then. Oh boy, this is gonna be scary if he's around. Everyone fuck! Whoa! What the fuck? Oh! <laughs> All right. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Holy Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, map, 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 map. Donut shop. Uh, go towards the zone of shop. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Yeah, they, they took care of that feeling super well. And you were saying he looks stupid at the start. Yeah, I, I'm eating my, I am eating my words right now. Hey, Star Dream, hope you're having fun. Yep. I am actually having a lot of fun, yes. That's the nemesis I remember. Nemesis might not show up as much as Mr. X in this remake, but when he does, he'll make sure you don't forget him easily. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, did, the, did this have anywhere else to go? Subway control room. Subway station. I think we need to go to this place, and then the subway station. God, these assholes. The air crackles with Nemesis. Nemesi? Hopefully he doesn't spawn while we are doing this. That would be really, really terrifying. Shotgun now. Fuck it, come on, stop it. Run, beach. Run, beach, run. I just sort of fucking god if this game keeps giving me fucking a healing spray, so I'm gonna fucking lose it. All right, that should be good. You could have used it. No. Not for this. Carlos, I'm in the control room. Now what? Nice. Now you got to plot out a route. Okay, All right. give me a sec. All right. Where are we headed? The train is stopped at Redstone Street. We need to reach Fox Park Station. All right. Can you program that in? Hey, uh I'm a super cop. Consider it done. Oh, nice. An actual puzzle. A Redstone Street. Then... That's weird. Oh! One... Two? Cost something. Fast Avenue. Oh, Fast Avenue. 
Falst Avenue. Raccoon Central Station. I don't understand the numbers. And then St. Michael's Clock Tower. Oh, <gasps> the Clock Tower! We're not gonna be able to go there. Oh, those are the change thingies that we need to. Yeah, okay. So that is a car one, two. Uh. One? Two? Unable to establish. Shit. Please. Try again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, bitch. Don't worry, bitch. Don't worry, bitch. Just, okay, zero three and then zero two. Okay, zero three and then zero two. What? Raccoon City Central Station, zero three. And you're supposed to go to zero two, right? Why is it stopping? Huh? Valid route confirmed. Oh! That's neat. I I thought people said that this game didn't have puzzles. Neat. Hurry back to the station. We'll make sure the subway's ready to depart. Ready. All right, got it. There's something here that I need to unlock. Yes, I need that. Please give me a herb, 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 herb. Uh, that works too. That very much works. Why does Pasra think Nemesis is not cool and scary? Well, compared to Mr. X, you know. Fuck that! Fuck that! I'm gonna be die dead. No. What is that? What? That's completely new. What the fuck? That's Plaga shit. Wait, you never played RE3 remake? No, I have not. What the fuck is that? This is my first experience with RE3 Remake. Is that Plagas or G? Oh! What the hell is that? You're not supposed to do that, asshole! <laughs> Actually, help! Thank you! Uh, where do we need to go now? We need to go to... Return to the subway station. That's easier said than done. Especially with him. Uh. Uh. Mm. I'm not gonna waste any bullets on him. What? You fucking teleporting asshole! Ooh. How am I going to get out of this one? Uh... Okay! No, 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 no! Oh! <laughs> Stop it! What? 
Oh, you fucking asshole! Comboing me to death. Uh. Alright, interesting. Uh, Pissweek says, Nemesis drops gun parts if you beat him. That sounds like a... Like bait. But let's try it anyway. I mean, I know that he does that in the original, but I don't think he does that here. I got a gun part in, like, a case. Uh, Puffy says, hey, Phil, can you play in the Jill Classic outfit? Also, I've been playing RE2 Hardcore, Claire. A, and dear God, it's a terrifying good God. Yeah, I know, right? There's no way that we can beat him, right? Let's try it out anyway. He still does it! Fuck yeah! I wasted a bunch of ammo for that. Yeah! I'm happy. Okay, thank you. Bye bye, asshole. I'm very happy now. No! Oh. It just had to be that way. Let's do that again, but a w uh, with a bit more... With a bit more strategy. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, uh, only one grenade. That is perfect. Didn't need, even need to use all that shotgun ammo. I'm so fucking scared of that, dude. One grenade is all it takes. I don't know how to feel about that. Return, return. Imagine going through this place while getting chased by Nemesis. What? Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Stop that! Stop that! Whoa! That's a cool zombie, though. Here. Got it. <laughs> Yo, Jill, you you okay, buddy? You okay, you okay, girl? Not doing all right, Chad. Well, nothing. Yo, Carlos, you got some supplies? I'm currently hearing my own heartbeat. I've been doing that for like ten minutes already. As plagas, hermanos. Wait, is this hardcore, no ink nice ribbon, though? Yeah, RE3 does Should not have ink this? ribbons in hardcore mode. Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Fair enough. Yo, Nikolai! How are we doing? CH? rolling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? I'm helping. So we get the trains running again. Bad time to start getting dead weight for it. She's what the fuck? What? I literally saved your asses. What? She'll get you killed. Asshole. Like always. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come 
<laughs> this isn't you. It's me, he's after. Oh! I'll buy you some time. Badass. Hey, Jill, no. Let's go! Oh my god, Jill, you. Oh my god! No! That's not that you're supposed to say that at the end of the game. <laughs> We're not gonna pick that up. They wasted the line on that. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You want stars? I'll give you stars. You're supposed to say that at the end of the game, Jill. Ooh. Shit fucker. I love Jill, she's a badass, they say as a as Jill keeps dying. Come on, you creepy ass stopper. Ooh. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Ooh. Oh my. <laughs> We're right there. We are right there. You. Well, there is a healing spray. Fuck you, weird name. Come on, you creepy ass stopper. Dodge! Stars? I'll give you stars. <laughs> it's the stairs. The stairs are gonna be a problem here. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You it's happening stars? again. I'll give you stars. <laughs> Just use the spray now. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Right, all right, all right. Ah! <laughs> Jill, this is supposed to be a cool moment for you. <laughs> Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You want stars? All right, just just, just, do, stars. just do it, 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 just do it. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Step it start. No, 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 come on, come on. I won't, 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 I won't. Oh, okay, 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 we can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. I'll give you stars. Says Jill on, before she almost stars. immediately dies. That would be how it would go, wouldn't I'll it? Give you stars. Oh. <laughs> Phil, please just use the spray, I refuse. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You want stars? Oh, oh okay, okay. Phil, are you soft locked? No, I have the power of the shotgun. Come on, you creepy ass stalker. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Yeah, 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 All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh God. This might work. Yeah, it might. You might also die and have to go back to that point. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, 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 o
I don't give a shit. It went to the stars. He's gonna just bust through Carlos, the wall. Do you copy? Carlos? Oh, shit. I know, right? Oh, I need to find another way out. No, you need a herb, girl. More shotgun shells. I feel like I'm speed running through this game. What was that? Compared to the original. Just a bunch of action all at once. Increase sewer security. We've been receiving reports of unauthorized personnel in the control areas of the facility. In response, we are replacing the aging mechanical locks and implementing new secu security protocols. Unlocking the new electronic locks requires a special made battery pack to be distributed to all employees. Please keep your personal battery pack on all on at all times when moving throughout the facility. Uh, Pisswick says, aim for his heart if you have no grenades. Got it! I was just doing the I was just doing the head. Electronic lock. Looks like it needs a power source. Aim for the heart. It, it is it does look pretty big doesn't it yeah stylish I'm definitely burning these clothes if you sort of fucking survive girl that is good you have a lot we need to use the pistol though I like how Killing Nemesis only gives me, like, some shotgun rounds. Holy Jesus Christ, Jill. Please get some herbs. Oh, <gasps> What the fuck? Is that a giant chicken? Alright. Oh, great. Woo! <gasps> Well, that's just a dinosaur! El pollo loco. I guess, uh, we just need that, uh, grenade. Get that, get in. You can discard the bolt cutters. I can. I'm definitely burning this first. I thought there was one more thing that needed the bolt cutters. Are those supposed to be G? Uh, G creatures? Oh no, these were supposed to be the hunter betas, right? I I I remember the hunter betas, like from reviews of this game. What? Do they have a weak spot? Oh. Yes. What the fuck was that? I know, right? They look like giant chickens. I've been like on one hit, one HP for the entirety of the section. Can somebody give me some herbs? That's not a herb. Assistant research logs. March 4th. Gamma's released from tank for the first time. Movement sluggish. Could combat potential low. Experimented with additional hormones and drugs. One adjustment bore positive results with significant rise in combat potential. Specimen is now able to move quickly and swallow prey whole. Uh, thank you, Flames 8 Games, for the $2. Umbrella has officially shot down Gamma Research. We managed to smuggle some specimens with especially high potential from the lab before disposal. Dr. Logan Carlisle is more committed than ever to perfecting the Gamma line. Two weeks since relocating to the sewers, increased temperatures have led to decrease in water quality. But specimens appear fine despite my concerns. 
Gamus quickly learned the layout of the sewers, and within two days, we were exploring the entire underground of Raccoon City. That is so fucking stupid! Uh, Pissweek says, they're supposed to be grave diggers. Huh. Uh, Flame Made Games, Super Chats, $5 again, and says, What's up, Phil? I'm starting to do game development. Can you give me any advice? Uh, like I've said before, uh, Flames, make sure to make a very shitty game for your first project. Don't go big, go very small. Make a really, really, really shitty game and learn from that experience. You'll be able to use that as a base for any future projects that you make. Uh, all specimens are familiar with and friendly towards us, but have procured high-powered weaponry as a safeguard in the event that they become uncontrollable. We were lucky to secure this space by bribing the sewage department chief, and it, but it's beginning to feel cramped due to the Gamus's continued growth. We should begin to consider other possible arrangements. A water treatment worker found his way into the lab, but the Gammas promptly eliminated him. This proves their viability for field use. I'll reach out to Umbrella's European branch tomorrow. Perhaps they will see the light. So, these assholes were using the sewers as a makeshift lab? Interesting. Ho! And voice from Gun Shop Ken Kendo! Thank you for purchasing the XXX Grenade Launcher. We've made special adjustments to this piece to ensure compatibility with a variety of ammunition types. For optimal performance, be sure to choose the right ammo for the right situation. As we discussed at the time of the purchase, this, this is a refurbished model and the chamber needs to be manually cycled between shots. It'll take an extra moment, but this is reflected in the price, as agreed. Handwritten note and reverse. Explosive rounds is explosive A times two. Flames rounds is a plus B, acid rounds is B times two. Mine rounds can't be readily craft crafted, not worth stocking up. Won't help won't help if we need to keep the gammas in line. So we should probably go for the acid rounds for these guys? Maybe. Uh, we don't have any ammunition for this, so we will keep them here because they take up a lot of space in our inventory. And... Do I even need the knife? Hmm. Kaboom! Just casually finds a grenade launcher. Well, no, the Umbrella Scientist purchased it from Kendo to keep the Gammas in line. Didn't work out very well, though. Yeah, so... Here's what I'm feeling. This is good, but it feels like every single unique area. You know the area with the bugs? That feels like a single five minute section. It doesn't feel like a, like an actual level. Kind of way too short at the moment. But like, it feels like I'm flying through this, you know? Like, barely any sequence has any room to explore their stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, the dodge is very good. Are you gonna die soon? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Don't dodge into him. All right, that takes about five shotgun rounds. Got it. Yeah, that does not look like a chicken. What do you mean? Look at the little chicken legs. I'm really late. What did I miss? We are currently in the sewer section. Okay, vor time. Ooh. I'm sorry, Jill. Christ. Maybe I should actually use the grenade launcher. I mean, it is specifically made to combat these guys, so... 
Can't imagine why not. Those things do not look like hunters. I know, right? They look like a completely different thing. Okay, how much does that do? Uh, oh, 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 well that's useful. Okay, very much weakness. Very much weakness. All right. Uh, Pissweek says, they're not hunter gammas. Those come later, Phil. What? But I read a known. Yeah, this is a, this is the gamma, this is the gamma line. According to the note, at least. Oh boy, oh boy. They really don't like the fire. Oh, oh, fuck! <laughs> one grenade launcher shot and one bullet. All right. All it takes is one bullet. They're not Hunter Gammas, those come later, Phil. All right, well, in the hospital, yes. We'll have to see, though. Hopefully they show up at the hospital. If there even is- if there even is a hospital. Holy shit, finally. A love letter? My little artlings, it's already been three months since we fled here together. I find myself thinking back to the day you hatched. Your little voices made me tremble with pride. Your adorable little bodies brimming with incredible destructive power. And of course, that voracious, insatiable appetite. You are no less than the pinnacle of the Hunter series. No, dude. You don't know what Hunters are. The hunters are fucking amazing. Those guys are like... Weird... Chicken... Boar creatures. And yet they ordered me to destroy you. They said you were unfit for use as weapons because of a few minor vulnerabilities. If they open their mouth, they fucking... You shoot them. You shoot them, idiot. So what if you're susceptible to heat? So what if your delicate mandibles are exposed when you feed? Haven't they heard of CHARACTER FLAWS? It is those very flaws that make you so very, very precious to me. But we'll show them. Down here, we'll continue to walk the evolutionary path together. We'll prove to Umbrella that you, my beloved Hunter Gammas, are truly superior. So, yeah, what about that, Pissweek? Still saying that these are not Hunter Gammas? Holy shit, that dude is obsessed. Fucking scaly. Original creature, do not steal. Alright, these are... gunpowder. I'm gonna just use it. My inventory is filled to shit. You know what? Fuck that. Now I just think of this game as Jill fighting fetish monster. Vor monster, throat testicles. Uh, Most likely will just get worse as the game goes on. We'll see. We'll see. Thank god, at least the heartbeat stopped. I think we got everything that we needed here. Yeah, they just... This guy just built a fucking makeshift meth lab in the sewers of Raccoon City. What a weirdo. I just got back. How's the prequel sequel to the Pika Survival Horror going? Uh, Bonsi. It's fine. 
certainly not as iconic as Resident Evil 2, but it has its good moments. Uh, Nemesis is just as fucking scary as the original. The way that when he fucking runs at you? Holy shit, boy. Jill, we need to cook. Oh, flame rounds. Shit. Sorry. Ah. Uh. I could have been more patient with that. I like your avatar. Thank you, Jimbo. Okay, we definitely needed that, though. Weird ass chickens. Oh, oh. I was wrong, it seems. I got the hunger, uh, the hunt, the hunger gammas mixed up with the hunter betas. They mixed the hunter gammas with the grave diggers and the remix. Sorry. <laughs> this feels so much less. This feels so much less uh, risky now that we just have checkpoints instead of ink ribbons. I'm playing on hardcore mode. It's supposed to have ink ribbons, right? What the fuck? I'm back. What did I miss? Uh, welcome to the sewers and a weirdo trying to make his OC come to life. Phil, there's more unlockable difficulty modes. I know, but hardcore is supposed to have the ink ribbons. Whatever. You know, if these things if this herb doesn't even help me survive the boring. I don't really understand why it's here. Thank you. Fine. And then grab that. At least we got uh, some free explosive ammo out of it, I suppose. Maybe we can do one, one explosive uh, fire grenade and then one shotgun round. All right. What a weirdo. Okay. Okay, still not. Still not. That works. Variable health. Oh my god! <laughs> I just love when they fall down. Uh, Slender Minion says, I was just going to stop by from the beginning and then go back to Revelations. Uh, I mean, Revelations raid mode, but now I'm invested. Yeah, I mean, you're not gonna take that this much, like, that much on the stream. This game is, like, very short. So, it'll be fine. Wait, hold on, what? Oh, did I go a completely different way? I did. Did I use the battery pack here? Can I grab? Oh, oh, okay. 
But what about the other place, though? There was another battery thingy over there. All right. Uh, oh, just got back. How are you feeling about this? Uh, it's not bad. Mostly fine, really. Okay, there's more batteries. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. There's more batteries. I'm really liking this sequence, though. Look at this boy. Big fish boy. Open it up, Jill! Oh, boy. Alright, now can I grab the battery pack? <laughs> that thing looks cute. Strangely, I do agree, agree with you. It, do, it does look kind of cool. Chicken onion. Oh! <laughs> I thought he was just gonna stay there. Oh, we can't go back there. Oh, neat! I didn't know I could do that! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, 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 alright. Did it go away? It's gonna jump out at any minute, isn't it? Right? Go! Oh, yeah, this one doesn't really need to be killed. I'm making popcorn chicken for everybody! Thank you, Piss Week. Oh, neat. Let me guess, this is... Not worth it. So, is that guy still on the other side of this door, or...? Not. Close it, close it, close it, close it, close it. What a cool little puzzle. Yeah, this is more like the rest of evil I like. Running away from monsters while solving puzzles. Save your ammo. Just like any good Resident Evil gamer would do. I do wish I had some more healing items, though. They have arms? No, they have, like, weird chicken wing stuffs. And we named that Chicken Nugget. I don't think we'll ever see Carlos, Chicken Nugget again. Can you hear me now? Jill. Oh, thank God. Everything okay? I fought some ch giant yeah, chickens. I'm alive. I lost him. And that sequence is over. That is so... That was so quick. Okay. Oh! You never give give me a break, don't you, buddy? Where did you get that? Oh. <laughs> Woman detected! Badass. That's a big, big arrow. I, I do not care about the arrow. I like that she's just as surprised as me. I just that. We're gonna have to be heading into a fight with that thing. Eh? 
there we go. That's much better. He's so shy, woman, he just... <laughs> He's so shy around women, he just has to kill them. What a weird way to show affection. Alright. I feel like we're gonna have to... We're, we're gonna have to, like, go into a boss fight with this guy now. Not gonna leave us alone until, like, we blast him. Uh, save your resources on this. Don't worry, Phil. You gotta dodge me. Move! Haha! <laughs> Getting good with that. Oh! I gotta get out. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. Hold that. I don't know if he's actually there, or if this is just a scripted sequence. But either way, get the fuck out! Roasty. Hello! Seriously, where the hell did he get that? He didn't buy it at Kendo. Hold on a second. You're chilling. When are you gonna run out of ammunition for that, buddy? I'm right here. Yeah? Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's taking so long, dumbass. It's all good. Oh shit! Fire! How's the metal catching on fire? Go 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 go! He's just being thorough. He's taking your dating advice from your Hello Neighbor 2 stream. See, kids? That's why you don't take what a fucking YouTuber says seriously. Nemesis is going through his own, like, parasocial relationship, I guess. With Jill. Notice of demolition delay. We have decided to delay the Barnaby office building demolition in response to the ongoing public unrest. For safety reasons, all electrical equipment, including generators, have been moved out to the roof for safekeeping. Entry to the premises is prohibited until the unrest has subsided. All employees are to stay at home and wait for their instructions. Yeah, this feels like a boss fight. Metal pipe sound effect. All right. Cool as fuck. A big Donkey Kong barrel behind you. All right. Let's do this. Defeat the creature. All right. All right. Fuck you, man. You asshole! You didn't just do that to me. Oh, stop it! Stop it! Oh my god! Touch the fire. What the fuck? That's some video game shit, boy. Oh, right. Neat. Oh man, I hate flamethrowers!
Opa! Pyromane. How do I distract them? Guess I just can't. Ooh. Yeah! Cunt! Cool. Oh, it's still kicking? Oh my god, you're gonna use that as a melee weapon? So, uh, strategy for this fight, uh, blow up the fuel tank, uh, then shoot him with, pump him full of, uh, grenade launcher grenades. Make sure that he doesn't dodge them. What a cool fucking guy. God damn it, there was a fucking red herb in there. Hold on. No. No. That, that's a stupid, that's a stupid move. Hold on, there was a red herb right there. This boss fight is super cool. Probably one, one if not my favorite. Thank you, Pastra. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this game. Like, as a remake, it's dropping the ball super hard, but these sequences are fucking awesome. All right, let's do this. Grab this. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, grab this. Combine it. Oh, more. Another one! Thank you. I appreciate that. Yo, asshole. Gotta get a little bit closer to that for that. You can't dodge while reloading. Got it. Got it! Stop looking cool, man. Making me look bad. Oh! Stupid nemesis making me look bad. Right, 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 I'm in danger. All right, phase two. That'd be good. Oh, yeah. Oh my God. It's still kicking. I know, right? Phil 
little help I'm being held hostage in an outback steakhouse they're going to use my liver as a sirloin oh god oh am I dead no okay thank you Ikea whatever the fuck you just said There we go. Just wait a I can't really reload when he's attacking, can I? Try to back him up in a corner. I think you'll just dodge that. God, this fought boss fight is amazing. Oh, 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 nice. And nice. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, that's so fucking cool. Ah, fuck it, chuck on time. Metal Gear Solid boss. Got it. Now, please don't fuck this up. We're out of caution. Got it. Yes. 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 Ugh. Just use that. Jill. Oh my god, what? <laughs> really? Oh, that's what? Come on! Pin me against a wall. Holy shit. He's got that combo. Wait, he hasn't played RE3 Remake before? No, I have not. I like how people expect me to play every single RE game already. I am having a lot of fun, though. Oop. Even if it's more actionized than I would like for Survival Horror.
Hello, Gluebird. Thank you. Welcome to the toxic cesspit. Maybe I can hit the fuel tank. Yes. Yes. Oh boy, 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 oh Hold on, Jill. Oh, come on! How long does that take to fucking kill? There you go. All right, get ready, 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 get ready. Let's get ready to rumble. Too slow, too slow. What the fuck? Oh, I had a healing item too. Couldn't even get out of there. Oh, this motherfucker. Oh, this motherfucker. Putting me into fucking combos. Oh! Let's go! <laughs> I'm getting salty now. This is literally hardcore. Fun. Yes. I can't even see the fuel tank. Yeah, no shit. They need to get the timing right for the dodges. Boop, boop. Hey, code break. He's really committed to asking Jill out. Pray he doesn't pull up the clown costume. I don't really get why Jill is trying to avoid him. I mean, he's pretty hot, as you can see. Oh boy. Nemesis is pretty hot right now, but he has a terrible personality. Oh boy. This approach is a little bit on the nose! Oh boy. 
still kicking? Shut up, Jill. Shut up, Jill! Shut up! Please, please be alive. Oh my god. Un fucking believable. Oh, come the fuck on, dude. Really? Oh, that saved me. Yes. 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 You shouldn't have dodged that. Oh, oh I was fucking reloading. Stop! Ah! Ah! Come on, come on, come on, come on. I just need to get good at the dodging. Literally, all I need to do is get good at dodging. Oh, that's actually this is actually a very nice uh, angle. Can you just stay here? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, that's a good strategy for the first uh, half of the fight. Shit. Let's fucking blow up! There we go. You're not the only one who's struggling with the dodging in this game. I mean, I can't imagine that the reason for why I'm struggling is because it's supposed to be super hard. All right. Still kicking? No, please, please. Dude! I need to get behind cover to do that. Oh my god, I'm getting a good, 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 stop it! You can do it, Phil. It might take multiple streams, but you can do it. Holy shit! Just as you said that, asshole. Alright. The timing! That was actually super quick. How is Jill not passing out by now? Good? Nope. <laughs> it's like she's in Final Destination. <laughs>
you, Viagra. If you get a perfect dodge roll and hold the aim button, you enter in slow-mo mode and you auto-aim the weak spot. Neat little mechanic. Hell yeah. Holy fucking shit. Carlos? It's Jill. Do you read me? This week says, this is a baby game, Phil. Hey, yeah. Baby game Last for babies. Day. Good. Fuck him. Fuck him. What were you thinking? Turning yourself into bait. He could have been killed. He's definitely Don't not start. dead. I did what I had to. She's a super cop. And thanks. Aw. Subway's ready to go. Hurry back. Yeah. And now we have some weapons with us. What a one woman army. <laughs> this is <gasps> the RPD. Hell yeah. I like that I knew that this was the RPD just, just by this street. <laughs> Baby, give it to me. Spencer Memorial, huh? Can we go visit Kendo first? <laughs> oh, outbreak reference. Yes. Yo, Kendo, you good, my man? We're obviously gonna go to the RPD, so. Right. Right. Okay. We're obviously gonna go to the RPD, so. What about my boy, Kendo? What a cool way of connecting these two areas. <sighs> Semi-auto barrel for the shotgun. Hell yeah. And I'm all stocked up. Oh, and I, ha I have my health back. Hell yeah. They need to remake Outbreak. Wow, same shit. Kendo, you're all right. Yeah! Sorry, I got a little jumpy there. Didn't know quite what to expect. He's always waiting there. That's a spawn point. Subway to get people out of town. You win? Subway. Well, that's good thinking. Emma. When we get out, there's going to be a lot to do. We can use a man of your skill set. Oh no. What's wrong? Nothing. Just a uh, just bad timing is all. Yeah. Look, um, don't worry about me. I'm gonna make other arrangements, okay? You better. You're the best gunsmith around. Oh. <laughs> don't do anything stupid. Oh, that's that's your job, right? <laughs> uh, this game care, may Jill. not be as horror oriented as 2 was, but it's still just a fun adventure with Jill. Agreed, Schmoodle. The station, take that service alley out in front of the shop, okay? The key's hanging on the wall. Got it. Oh, you have a little boarded up area. So that's the those are the sewers that we go to in the second game. And those gate key oh. Oh. It takes a while to turn. What the fuck is up with this red jewel? Whatever. I for I forgot what that red jewel was about. You missed your chance with the re red jewel. Fuck. I guess I'll have to do that later.
That's where Leon and Ada go to. Cool. Cool! So the building that we blew up was like right next to the police station. Don't worry about these guys. I'm a super cop. Kendo's gate key unlocks the gate outside of Kendo's shop, granting access to the alleyway. I'm a stupid idiot. I'm, I'm just way too giddy about going to the RPD. Is there anything over here? Yes, there is! Mm, yeah. I can't wait to fight Nemesis in the RPD. That fucker breaks through, like, a giant, like, window in the original game when you go to the RPD. That, that moment was so fucking cool. But usually, like, usually the Nemesis is supposed to be still chasing you in the back alley of the police station. I guess... They changed that, uh... They changed that with a boss fight instead. Alright! Hello, guy. He alive, though. Not anymore, though. Oh, what's gonna take to bring you down? Still up. It's gonna ignore me? Yo, bitch, you're ignoring me! <laughs> Almost got baited, yes. Hold on a second. Oh, that's so cool how they bar you from that by using the trash cans. Oh, that's great. Makes the games feel a lot more connected. A cool little area. Fuck you. I could have used my knife, but I don't have it! Hello! Oh, what the fuck? Oh! Jesus Christ, Nemesis. That looks like the Gmod Burned Corpse model. Neat. Have you n met Nemesis yet? May. That's like within the first few minutes of the game. Raccoon Times is a reader's column. Dear Editor, I'm writing to you because I'm troubled. Deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that a crystal prom promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. There's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle! However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just isn't willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to just wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking it down? So, no. for E9, do you think you'd rather a brand new story with brand new characters or have some oldies make a return? For old characters, who do you want to play as again? I want to play as Leon again. But it would probably be best for it to be like an RE7 situation where you play as a new character and the old character is assisting you and then you play as him in like bonus modes or something. 
Uh, are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No. If heads are going to roll down, then let it be the managers. Take that death trap down. Timothy Wiles, 69. Well, have you seen that Leon got added in Fortnite? Yes, I have. Oh, man. Hold on a second. Perfect! That's how you do it. Everyone on the chat saying nice. Get rid of the key. Thank you. It is, that icon is way less uh, visible than the red mark of RE2. Kind of an unnecessary change if you ask me. Okay, this is more the atmosphere of the original. Zombie, you better get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> Come at me, asshole. <laughs> you ran right into it. Oh, Jill can take a tank a rocket to the face. <laughs> Dodges right into the rocket. Jill, you okay? I'm a super cop. Yeah, but he's some kind of nemesis. Yeah, this game is like a fucking roller coaster. Oh? Uh? Dead. Switch from pyro to soldier. Wait, so is Brad gonna appear now? Brad was supposed to meet us, like, at the back of the police station. Oh no. Did he get cut as well? Fuck out of here. Dude, Brad is dead. He's not dead. We saw him like a f like. There's no way that he's dead like that. There's no way that he's dead like that. His death in the original was fucking iconic. There's no way he's dead. They had. The Nemesis needs to put a fucking pike through his head. He got bit in the intro. I know, but he's definitely alive. Ugh. Hey, Fizz, got a job at Umbrella Corp. Wish me luck. Good luck, sickeny. Have you heard about their dental plan? Nemesis is a baby who loves Nerf guns. Jesus Christ, what an action monster. Oh my god! Nemesis being a guy helping out the community! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I can't believe they foreshadowed that with the newspaper. That's so fucking dumb. I wanted to see that death animation. That's so fucking dumb. Death by Toys R Us.
boy. Boy, 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 boy. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. What the fuck is driving that head? Nice. I go oh there <laughs> the yeah the train station yeah right 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 <laughs> I love when he sprints all right wait he runs yeah he ran in the original and he also had a rocket launcher in the original. Isn't it fucking cool that the monster of the third game uses the weapon that is your like you use to kill the other two bosses in the first two games? Such a goddamn cool monster. I know, Jill. Shut up. <laughs> uh, no, not there. Okay. <laughs> I really need some health right now. Okay. Into the air you go, I guess. Jumping into fucking nothing. <laughs> fucking Superman jump away. Yeah! You okay? Go. Go! I know you don't use first head sprays, but you should hear. Fuck you. Carlos. You go, Carlos. A man nemesis is shredded. That's not gonna fucking stop him. Alright, Carlos. Do you happen to have a little weed on you? I would really appreciate that. Carlos, I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Yeah. Hey. You saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. He might have a first aid well, spray. He might go fuck himself, Nick. Yeah. Hey, you'll be safe. What about you? Not from the sound of it. I won't be catching the train. Aww. Why not? No, oh, there'll be new orders. I want to go to the RPD. If it means I can help save the city. It's fine by me. How are you gonna do it for tomorrow? The only healing items are sprays. I guess I'm not gonna heal? Wait, no, Nick, you're stupid. There are a lot of herbs in RE5. What are you talking about? Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Park. I'm not stupid. I'm just lying to you. I've played RE5, five, asshole. The worry. fuck? Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going what do you back. mean there's a Resident Evil game without die, fucking herbs? Cruel, Carlos, world. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you need to find this I scientist. love you. This vaccine research could save us all. 
Can I go to the hospital? You see? You're learning. You're Shut the fuck up, this. Nikolai. Oh. Good luck. Let's go! Yeah. September 29th, 2 11 a.m. You don't really think Finns will push you like Barnabas to life, do you? Did we skip the RPD? Did we skip the RPD? There's no way. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way they can skip the RPD. Wait, no, no. September 29th. It should be happening around this time where Leon and Claire are entering Raccoon City. This guy is such a villain. And they're all dead. Congratulations, Jill. You fucked it all up. What are you doing? It's not after you. Go fuck yourself. Nikolai! Did you make an L with your finger? <laughs> Fucking hell. I like down. you. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill him. Escape from the city. RPD! 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 Okay. RPD! What? Subway's gotta be clear of the city by now. Oh, Carlos is coming here? No, I mean, she's not like that. Hell, well, she's not like anybody. Aww. Carlos respects women! Wait, so we're playing as Carlos on the RPD? Ooh. Keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. Are you sure? Well, it looks like a cemetery to me. So we're not gonna see Nemesis coming through the window? Aww. But the whole point as to why it was so cool to see the RPD in the original Resident Evil 3 was because Jill and Nemesis were walking around in the RPD at the same time as Leon and Claire. But... But that's... that's not good. That's not a good change. Are we... Are we not gonna see Nemesis, like... Like, barging through the window? Why, why was there like a... Why was there like a... Like... Uh, like, Nemesis saying STARS on the- on RE2, if that isn't the case. But... But that's not good. I have a lot of ammo now. That's just a teaser for this game. But- No! Jacob, the entire point... Is that... Nemesis is supposed to be walking around with Jill and the RPD at the same time as Leon and Claire. This week says, RPD and RE2 has a blown up wall. This is, that is in the RE3 make. Uh, does that mean that Nemesis is gonna appear and hunt down Carlos? Why would he do that? Brad, stop! T. Brad! Oh, that is why. Oh, wait, no. He's already a zombie. Oh. Oh, Brad got him. Oh, Marvin! A lot of the cast in this game went on to be in Revillage. Jill is Daniela, Carlos is Chris, and Nikolai is Heisei. Yeah, I can see it. You stay on the door. Wait, is Carlos gonna? Go get some. But Carlos. All right. I'm sorry, buddy. Leave it. 
Is this a boss fight? Boss fight against Brad. These stars. That could be useful. I don't like that. I don't like I don't like that at all. <laughs> Brad, five fifty thousand HP. I don't like that at all. Like like in the original RE3 uh game, like Jill is supposed to come through the entrance to the police station and it like Brad is supposed to be here and RE in like Nemesis is supposed to like put a fucking tentacle through his head. But now he's just a zombie, I guess. Is Nemesis gonna at least like turn him into one of those mega zombies? I don't think so. Why the hell would Nemesis want to be here? And the teaser for this remake, like, you could go over here and listen to like Nemesis's like STARS. Why isn't he why isn't he here? That shit. And okay. Let's at least go visit the police station. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. Our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Mm. Custody? I thought this was a custody. Hey, Tony Sonic. If Jill and Nemesis were in the RPD at the same time as Leon, Claire, and Mr. X, either the RPD mm -hmm. is huge or that makes it is. no sense. No, that's Surely the coolest part about it. they each other in the original then. No, they don't. That's the coolest part about it in the original game. Like, that's super fucking cool. Get your ass over here. Shut up. No, no yellow tape over here. All right, well. The RPD is gigantic, yes. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Fair enough. Hmm. Right. Good to know. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. You're gonna die, sir. Call you if I find anything. Hey! And... Be careful. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. You too, man. Well, you can't you? Oh, you can use the item box, okay. I don't know how to feel about this change. You can even see the evidence that Leon had already went into the area currently, and it's super cool in the original. Well, right now there's no tape, so... This is before Leon got here. Haha, <laughs> they covered up the medallions. Yeah, this is way before Leon got here. Marvin, like, just got bit. What am I talking about? Man, I really don't like that change. Area looks clear. Uh, Ravdv. Don't have much to say. Have some beer money. Thank you. Mm. Now here's a weird fucking door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love you, Carlos. Okay, I, th I, I do believe Carlos is like an objective upgrade from the original Carlos in RE3. This is boarded up now? Thank you. <laughs> Carlos doesn't understand survival horror games. I don't think the developers of this one did either. New job kept me busy. I see you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, also, screen. I've been researching survival horror. Serious question, with the limitations of the 1980s, was Pac-Man survival horror? Nope, because it doesn't have limited resources. Thank you, Ice Cream. ID security protocols. September 16th, 1998. Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, the same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not 
Lend your card to anyone. Take great care of using it. If your card goes missing, report it immediately. RPD Facility Maintenance Department. Uh, boss says, just got here. So what do you think of this compared to the original? Or RE2 Remake? I only heard it wasn't that great when it was released. Yeah, boss, the people that said that are right. This is weird. I can't give my thoughts just yet because I haven't completed the game. But there's some stuff that I'm really, really not happy with. There's no liquor uh, marks over here. Are we going to be able to fight the liquors? Probably not. Maybe? Ooh, yes we are. What the hell was that thing? I forgot about the fucking box. Right, there's no... Yeah. There you. That's how those bodies got there. Yeah, you're right! Just got here, so what do you think of this compared to the original? Or RE2 colon RE? I only heard it wasn't that great when it was released. Yeah, this is... I, I am not gonna say anything until I finish the game, but... So far... <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Oh, he's... Oh, God! He's still twitching! Oh, God! Oh, I'm so sorry. Answer the chat, Phil. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry, my guy. Fucking door. Take my money, funny man. Thank you. Take my money, funny man. Also, this gives me DBD flashbacks from my it's bad tomorrow. times on RPD. Thank you. Uh, here we go. Here we go, buddy. Here we go, buddy. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Here we go, buddy. Here we go, buddy. Here we go, buddy. Here we go. Oh boy. Nice. Can Carlos also dodge? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 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 This is not barred up. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. Like okay, her. Watch your six. Carlos can punch. Ooh. Nice. Why doesn't the game explain any of that? If I didn't know any be better, like, I would have never, like, used that button. Hello! No, I'm trying to conserve ammo, but I have a machine gun. Oh my god. Punch! Carlos, punch! Carlos, punch! Oh my god! Try perfect dodging with a punch? I can't. <laughs> and Carlos, you really need some health. Can we do the puzzle in the armory? Shit. Nope. Can we do this? We can. Objection. The power pellets in Pac-Man are limited. Plus, they are only a temporary solution, requiring you to evade the ghost and use them wisely. Power pellets respawn. That's not a limited resource. Heck. 
They don't. Yes, they do. After each level, they respawn. Fuck you. Let's see. Oh, is this the same combination as the original? Yes. Do you remember? No, I do not remember. I do remember this, but I can't use it. You just played it. I have a very bad memory. Pac-Man stream when? Hell yeah, got a red herb. Finally, I can hear the heart stop. There we go. Also, one important thing about that, Pac-Man does not have puzzles. So you can't unlock parts of the maze. Unlike Survival Horror. Survival Horror is pretty much required to have to have puzzles in it. So if Pac-Man doesn't have limited resources and it doesn't have puzzles, then it's not survival horror. I kinda of fucked up shooting cops. <laughs> Shut up, Carlos. Internal memo. September 20, 22nd, Office Supply Internal Relocation Notice. Oh, there we go. Uh, 9-15-7. Remember that, chat. Well, if cameras killed those things, I'd be set. Obviously. Film contains evidence. Thank you. The RE2 safe room theme. Alright, Chad, let's see if you remember the combination. Nine, fifteen, seven. This sucks. I'm very sorry, but that sucks. I'm very sorry, but having a combination only a minute away in the safe room for a safe in like, it's like literally two rooms away. That sucks. That's such a fucking bland Bad puzzle. Fuck you. Oh, look at the Leon poster. What Leon poster? You mean the celebration images? All right, poor Leon. He doesn't get it, get it now. Nemesis is supposed to burst through this window. Guess not. A welcome Leon poster. Yeah, yeah, I've already seen it in the original. Did you see the Postra stream that we did with Resident Evil 2 Remake? Yeah, we absolutely mentioned that. Baby Postle. Thank you, Pissweek. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. Oh! Carlos says something when, about it when you look at the celebration thingies. Alright. Good unique dialogue for it. Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. September 20th, arrest report. Name Rodney Gray. Charges. Unlawful of creation slash possession of explosives. Narrative. Suspect has been behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Saint, September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a time detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not sound of mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began, and at one point, questioning had 
to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from the suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why don't- Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpses attack from the shadows. A storm's coming, Annie! But this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. Bombs! Bombs! Gotta get more bombs! They're coming soon. Gotta hurry. Burn him! Burn the corpses! Burn them good! Alright, so you had a- you had some... Uh... You kinda- you had a little bit of an argument before, but you're kinda crazy, sir. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended, a sedative administered. Note, due to the suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from the moment from moment to moment. Suspect dis suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We're currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect condition. The explosive collected from the suspect's person and residence appeared to be extremely powerful. A safety precaution, a battery, was removed from one detonation device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. E. Yeah. Welcome, Leon. Bet you had a kick-ass first day. <laughs> I love you, Carlos. Uh, Hador says, that, that was the guy that wrote that note on the third floor in the RE2 remake. Nope. Nope, Kador. That is the superior officer of the RPD police. That is Chief Motherfucking Irons going crazy and killing his own men. We lit- In that note, it literally says, that's what you get for, like, going against your superior officer. That is Mr. Chief Irons himself. So... No. Don't worry, I know that game backwards and forwards. If you don't- if you don't believe me, go back to that game and read the note. There's only one man that can do that. Oh, hello! The wall gets blown up here. I guess this is the replacement for Nemesis. Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the explodey way. Alright. Need some batteries. And this is... DC... Oh. Cap? Yeah! Destroying the continuity. Just absolutely fucking it up. This is the wall that is referenced in RE2. I guess, but it's cooler if Nemesis does it, in my opinion. Supposed to be a big earth shattering kaboom. We don't really need to keep stuff in our item box if they're gonna be so plentiful about it. I'm also confused. Don't worry about it, Tigera. This is just what happened immediately before Leon got to the RPD. That's pretty much it. Bitch. Nice! That's a Resident Evil ass one key. What is this? A key that unlocks the door to the safety deposit room. Bitch. And this is supposed to be D C M. I'm good with name combinations, but I. Fuck. Oh. Oh, that. That's not there. Right. Okay. Hopefully, he destroys that at least. 
Oh, that fucks me with my brain a little bit. Where is the safety deposit? Oh, yeah, 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 all right, it's back, it's back on the first floor. Say what you will about this game, but the crit slash explode kills look more. There you are, dick face. Oh. oh. Dick face. Oh, what a cool s soundtrack. Dun, 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 dun. I just came back, and Phil already ran headfirst into a liquor. Don't worry, I, I didn't get any damage, though, so I'm fine. People, people. Yeah, I already dealt with that, don't worry. Asshole. One, two, four. Yeah. Six. Yeah. And let me guess, I can't use the other one. Yeah. Yeah. My battery. Mine now. Shut up. Phil, stop! You're I'm fucking up the timeline. Don't worry about it. The timeline doesn't exist. There's not a shotgun here. Oh. <gasps> there we go. Oh, we have a lot of items now. Yeah, this this timeline is already fucked. Carlos is screwing with the space-time continuum. What the fuck? Oh. It's the Resident Evil story. What do you care about canon? Oh yeah, right, you're FNAF fans. I forgot. <laughs> it doesn't work like- It doesn't work like that in here, motherfuckers. Keep this here. And we're gonna put this. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> Welcome to the rest and evil streams. We're gonna put this here, and there we go. <laughs> Chat got upset. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying this game. It's pretty good. Holy shit, you killed like 80% of chat. Oh! Did I hear another bubble head? Uh, Pissweek says, RE3 Remake can only be summed up by CONFUSED SCREAMING! <laughs> yeah, no, this has been flying. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. Copy that. Carlos is just doing some dumb bullshit in here. Move. And let me guess, that's gonna blow up the water. Oh, that's perfect! That's so good! Also, thank you, cheese plug. Oh. Hold on. Okay, I like that. 
But I definitely prefer um, Nemesis blowing up the wall, not Carlos. Definitely way more actiony. How many cops are there on the station? Why are they all bunched up in here? What? Carlos punch. One at a time, take a number. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I love you. He's got that Leon energy. Like RE4 Leon energy. Nice. Bro thinks he's Leon. He's kind of pulling it off. Oh, come on! Oh! Ma'am! Asshole. Give like me use my herbs. Look at that ass. <laughs> Knew I should have saved that grenade. Fuck yeah. The cheeks. All right, we got to the star's office. Dr. Bard. Hello? Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind yeah, of Yeah, the hospital. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. They're no, dead. Negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. That's not real. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. <laughs> yeah, you would. You heard what he said. And we can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call. You're a hero, man. Carlos. That's Miles' call. Oh, well, he's dead. I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Get me the hell out of here! This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Fuck you, Rebecca. Definitely not useful. Is there a fucking item box over here? Huh. Phil, shoot the dartboard. Where's the dartboard? There we go. Oh yeah, the kids still got it. Let I that love be you. a lesson to all dartboards. Does Wesker keep his fucking creepy photo in here? Report on the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in the mansion owned by Umbrella Corporation, located in the Arclay Mountains, on July twenty third. Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. For everybody that wasn't here on the Resident Evil 1 stream, fucking pay attention.
On July 24th, Alpha Team was dispatched as well, and became entangled in the events of the near at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of STARS. The cause of the incident was illegal bioweapons experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility, and is presumed to be the root of the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. The five, mem the five survivor members were Jill Valentine, Chris Redfield, Barry Burden, Rebecca Chambers, and Brad Vickers. Cool guys. Is that Jill in the front row? Yeah, she doesn't look anything like that. Oh boy. What about Albert? Fuck Albert. Ooh, this is open now. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is all I got to play with. And that's all about it. Time to go, I guess. Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill. Jill, what happened? Jill, come in. Hey, my guy, can you quickly go. kill you Nikolai for me? September 29th, 4.43 a.m. Star's office. Why would you put that at the end of the sequence? Oh, that's it? That's the RPD? Oh. Oh. That wasn't even survival horror. That was just a linear sequence. You just went from point A to point B. Oh. Am I the only one who made it? That sucks. No. That fucking sucks, man. Why did I even save any resources on that sequence if I can just use them? Wait, no. There were some items back in the RPD, in like the star's office. Maybe we'll come back the RPD at some point? No! Carlos left that! Because we're gonna get to play as Carlos again, maybe? This is not a remake. This is like... This is something else, man. Oh, damn. Did the game end up being bad? No! I... 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 Carlos? Come in. Carlos? Yeah. Oh, damn it. I guess I'm out of range. Mine rounds? The fuck? Lights to its target using its own propulsion system detonates after a short period of time after approach. What the fuck? That's new. UBCS new weaponry notice. Good news, limp dicks! I've got a new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back on your sacks. Called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D and they will Light your fires even hotter than the lover that left you back home. They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a let look. Let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designated for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or on the ground, and they'll stay right there where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they see when they get within range. So basically, just toss. Toss them in an enemy's path, and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. Uh, Slender Minion says, uh, good game, bad remake. Yeah, it, it makes me so conflicted. Pissweek says, all that matters is that you're having fun, Phil. Yeah, but you could have made this so much better. This is not even a remake. Like, you're selling this... You're selling this to people 
with the expectation that they're going to be able to replay the game that they originally played back in, like, 1990-something. No, not 99, like, 2000-something. Like, if you're not delivering on that, why are you remaking the game? You know? They call it a reimagining. I call it bad. I don't know. Right, just put those here and put them here. I call it a nostalgia tweak. Uh. All right, fine. What is Phil's issue with med sprays? Fuck him. Spite, mostly. God, thank God that the Resident Evil 4 remake is being handled by the Remake 2 team. Right, I know what they're trying to get me to do. Ah! Nice. Yes. Ah. Well, look at that. Great linear sequence of corridors. Like, here's the thing, right? This feels like the complexity of this game's level design feels. Fine. Hey Phil, did you want this Pop Goes plush? I can send it to you. That would be really, really nice, Light Salt, but I don't have a... Oh my god, are these fuckers not gonna come? Shit. Uh, that would be very nice, uh, Light Salt, but... I don't... I mean, I have a P.O. box right now, but I'm not sure if I want to give that out to people. I think that's nice. Just enjoy your plushie, man. I can live without it, even though it would be really nice to have it. Hmm. I don't know, man. This is I feel I feel really conflicted. On one hand, I'm having fun with this game, but this feels like Okay, you want to know how this feels like? RE2 remake feels like going into a gourmet like Michelin star restaurant for your survival horror meal, right? This game feels like I don't know, going to, like, Red Lobster, I guess? Maybe, like, In-N-Out? Maybe, like, KFC? It's like, you know, it's good, but it's not, like, amazing. Like, the- the- the complexity in- Fucker's still alive. I can't stay here. Yep, yeah, he is. Like, the complexity of this game's level design is on par with the complexity of the nest in Resident Evil 2 Remake. And that was the worst part of that game, you know? This is nowhere near as complex and nice and, like, uh, evolving as the RPD in the original RE2. Though, that I guess that's on brand, because Resident Evil 3 original also wasn't as complex as Resident Evil 2. Also, there's the fucking clock tower that got cut out of the game. I'm gonna be so fucking mad when I get there. Right. That's actually kind of surprising considering you're the biggest fan of Resident Evil. Just because I'm a fan of something, it doesn't mean that I can't recognize the subpar entries, you know? This is definitely not up there with the best that the Resident Evil has to offer. I am having fun, though, but it's like, you know, whatever. Uh, Phil, what is your opinions on Revelations 1? 
That's my feelings on it. I like the boat. Oh boy! He's mutating! <laughs> uh, you're gonna get your ass handed Carlos, to you, respond. Joel. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Uh, Noah says, loving the stream. Nicole, Curious question. Did you swear an oath to never use a first aid spray or something? It's boiling me, is boiling in me that I have to know why. Oh, uh, oh, oh, he's a big monster now. What? <laughs> I'm not controlling this sequence. I'm just seeing her be a badass. a lot of that in this game. Ooh. Oh, is he so big? All right. Uh, Noah, I will tell you about that uh, after I'm done with him. I know. Okay. Uh... Gimme, 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 gimme. Holy fucking shit, my guy. That's a cool version of Nemesis! Gel reload. Oh wow, okay. Oh wow, okay. Actually, this is not that good either. Hmm. Pitbull owners be like this their name is Princess. Boss is kind of easy, bite. actually. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess. You having fun there, buddy? Okay. Okay. I'm getting into it. I'm getting into it. No, 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 don't reload. Jill. Right, he's just doing his thing, don't worry about him. Oh, don't really. He was having fun. Uh 
Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, can you die already, please? Like, I got it. I got it. You're cool. Got it. Got it. I don't know. I'm not feeling this much. I need to stop it in its tracks. Why? Oh, yeah. This was for the mine rounds, wasn't it? Right. I don't have mine rounds, so this is kind of useless. Huh. Oh, okay. You're about to take a nasty fall. Yeah, got it. Holy shit, die already. Oh, what? What? You fucking kidding me? Oh. There we go. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I know, Jill, but I don't have mines. Maybe I can find them. Somewhere around here. Oh, god damn it. Bill, I think they're on the monster hu- Fuck! Oh, come on, I got comboed! Ah! Hmm. I guess- Okay, I guess save the mine- The mine- Whoa! Save the mine rounds for that moment, I guess. Oh, 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 ah, uh, there we go. Oh, and the belly. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, just, just get up. Don't worry about it, Jill. Yeah, 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 Wow, that's... So impressive. All right. Hmm. He's throwing a temper tantrum.
Okay, how am I supposed to win now? I'm not- I don't have any mine rounds again. Okay, well, I guess I'm dead. AGP, welcome to the toxic uh, cesspit. There we go. Are there any like mine rounds around here? Oh boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, finally. Right, let's do this. <sighs> yeah. We only got one area. Oh, there we go. There were some mine, mine bombs there. Now phase two. Now phase two. Hmm. Yeah, so... I'm kind of starting to realize that Nemesis is not really that complicated of an enemy. He's just a big uh, set piece for the game, but... When it comes to actually fighting him, just press the dodge button at the right time and you're good. That was kind of a lame fight, actually. Like, aside from him, like, going around in circles and shit, that was kind of lame. Was original Nemesis better? Dude, Benja, the, the original Nemesis in Resident Evil 3 actually chased you through the police station. You know that cool moment that we had with Nemesis at the beginning of the game? Where, like... He actually appeared around the, the the survival horror location, and you had to avoid him and, like, you know, plan around him. He was, like, sprinting towards you, and it was super scary. So, that also happened in the RPD. And I guess that's over now, because he's a big-ass monster now, so... How the hell would he be able to do that before? That early section was all of Nemesis stalking. Yeah, no, the original game, the original game was just, was that first section all throughout. Nemesis did not mutate until, like, a long ways into the game. And he still remained in his human form. Like, it's, and, like, his, like, you know, bipedal form. Why is he, like, a fish monster now? Like, this is fucking lame, dude. Like, like, this looks like a Resident Evil 6, like, boss fight. And I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, you're big, whatever, fucking shut up. Yep. Oh, infected. Yeah, because we're in the clock tower, so she has to get infected in the clock tower so that Carlos can save her. Yeah, there we go. You gonna shoot her? You've done me a big thing. Nemi's tier one eye is literally Nem perfect, Nemesis is literally is behind I'm you, so Nikolai. What are you doing? I turned him onto stupid doggy mode, wasting that perfect eye, barely using it. I know, right, Viagra? What the fuck? Why is Nikolai there? Nemesis, like, Nemesis would, like, kill him like that. Jill! Hey, answer me. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? 
Jill's been infected. I I'm taking her to the hospital. So we just Maybe skip Dr. the just skip the clock All tower right, section, I guess. There. Yep. No I, gu I guess Nemesis shot the helicopter at the start of the game, so I can't complain about Nemesis shooting the helicopter here. I got you. But, like, like, the the helicopter in the clock tower was so much better than the than the helicopter in at the start of this game because it felt like you were actually gonna be able to escape and Nemesis just fucked you over. Oh, we're in the hospital now. Oh yeah, fuck the clock tower. Fuck the clock tower. I guess. Not even putting her in the clock tower room that she always spent in when... Fighting Jill. <sighs> what was the clock tower? Nano. That was the best back. part of this game. They just skipped the best part of this game. You're gonna be okay. They literally skipped the best part of RE3. Back with Carlos, I guess. We just skipped the best part of the original RE3 after doing a shitty Resident Evil 6 boss fight with, like, big giant super nemesis fish. And that boss fight wasn't even good. Fuck me, dude. What the fuck were they thinking? I think they- I think Capcom just didn't give them enough time. I don't know, man. This- the start to this game was really strong, but like... The fuck is even happening right now? Pastra says, Gotta love all that missing content for what feels like literally no reason. Yeah, Pastra, here's the thing. Pastra, this is the best way that I can explain this to people that are watching the stream right now. The gameplay and level design of this game feels just as complex and intricate as the nest in re in in the in the last nest like lab area of Resident Evil 2 remake which is bad because the nest is like the most simple location in that game so the best parts of this game were the shittiest parts of Resident Evil 2 remake Right. Hi, Phil. Just got off work. Hey, Fart Face. Looks like I came in at the worst possible time. What's your current take on remake? I don't like it. The current level design has been so simple and bare bones that it's like the difference between having a, like a gourmet restaurant meal with Resident Evil 2 remake compared to like going to McDonald's for this. You know? Huh. Technically, you beat him, but it feels like nothing happened. Yep. Either Jill died too fast or she lived through stuff she shouldn't, and Nemesis felt bulletproof and yet at the same time pathetic. Are we gonna fight the Hunter Gammas again? I like the Hunter Gammas, but they only appeared in, like, two hallways. Did you, like, did you guys see the sewer sections in this game? That felt like two hallways. Is that- is that it? Is-, is are the- are the Hunter Gammas gonna appear again? No? What do you mean, no? The Hunter Gammas... That... That was like literally two hallways that they appeared in. That's it! Why the fuck would you put so many resources and time into designing an enemy that would only appear in two fucking hallways for like five minutes? What? Alright. Also, welcome back, Seed, to the stream. He says that it was most certainly time that, uh, fucked this game over. And I agree. And we have to use the item on Jill, yeah. Fair, fair enough. Gotta love crunching deadlines. Gotta love them. Alright. So let me get this straight. Every single section that was memorable in the original RE3 was crunched down and like made into five minute sections. 
and or they were replaced by lame nemesis encounters that are scripted instead of having intricate locations where nemesis could spawn and fuck you over. That, that's it. We don't we don't need to worry about nemesis again. The only the only other places in this game that we're going to have to worry about nemesis is big boss fight encounters. So, remember when we were so fucking scared of Nemesis in, like, that, like, that city block? Where, when he was, like, rushing towards us and, like, like, running and, like, attacking and, like, with the rocket launcher and the flamethrower? I guess that's just gone. Yeah, that was it. Alright. I mean, the hospital was still pretty cool in the original, so maybe we'll... Maybe we'll kill some, like, hunters in here, I guess. That was the only unscripted nemesis moment. Oh, great. Alright. Alright, well, time to kill the hunters, I guess. I miss the ne when nemesis corpse ate a tyrant's body. Yeah. Man, I remember conserving my resources. Yep. Phil, I'm giving snacks and water. You got this. Yeah, I got this. Fuck you. Like, I got this in the bag. Now that I know how to use the dodge button, I got this in the bag. But look, there's a little case over there. And yeah, this doesn't feel like the original hospital at all. Player. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Yo, bitch. Have two red herbs. Doctor Bard, are you in there? I'm here to I'm glad you. Silk Song Open doesn't really have a deadline because no, they often lead to some really bad match. games. It's almost like 90% of okay, all bad so games in, ga in the game industry are caused by tight deadlines. Lady Dimitrescu's tyrant role was far better than what they've done to Nemesis. Oh, that fucking hurts. Don't fucking say that to me, Fartface. Go fuck yourself. Oh my god, fuck. Ugh. You're right, though. That's a lot of them. Oh my god. I like when I came back I saw Tired Fight really summed up how the stream was going. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, this location could, could turn her around. Even though we, I don't really need to conserve my resources because they're just giving me, like, packs of, like, bulk. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool, I guess. Carlos, punch! Teddy bear. Nah. 
Okay. Hunters, where are you? Hunters. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on a second. All right. Infect the teddy bear. Hey Phil, how's it going? Uh... Like we we're, we're in action territory now, you know. Welcome to Resident Evil. Action Resident Evil, I guess. Yeah, see, the reason for why Resident Evil 4 worked out so well in comparison to the other, like, Resident Evil action games was because it was filled with, like, cool set pieces and memorable rooms. These are just kind of hallways, you know? Like, you, you don't really get to see anything cool happen. Alright, well, that's a waste. Yo. Oh great, a combination save. Reused from the RPD. Note about tape recording. Dakota. I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of his patients saw Abbott remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walk toward the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep doing your job. I don't care about how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole and will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong, a friend. I will, we just need a voice sample of that guy and we can open the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so surprising, I totally didn't expect those corpses to get up. It's almost like that's not the thing that always happens in these areas. This feels like RE5. No, RE5 is uh Oh my god. Nom 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 nom. I wouldn't say RE5 is better, but it's at least like a little bit more memorable. Is this a, as bad as RE6? Not by a long shot. No, absolutely not. No question. No, no. Oh, that's a sneaky. It's just meh, you know? Meh. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, Backseat says, RE3 Remake is more squandered potential than outright bad. I agree, yes. I agree. Now, what did we have to get in there? Hold on. Tape, 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 tape. Tape, tape? No? 
I guess not. All right. You know what I just realized too? This knife does not count a as a survival like like defense mechanic. It's just a knife. The the characters in this game don't use the knife to stick it into zombies. Hmm. Yeah, that's like the whole point of the knives in Resident Evil 2 Remake is that they were used to like save yourself from a bite from a zombie. But I guess no, I guess this just this just knife is just a knife now. Right. What was the combination for this again? Sorry, there ha there has to be like a a thing I missed. Is we'll just have to go somewhere else. Or maybe it's like it feels like it should be here, you know? Because like this area opened up after I whatever. Is that supposed to be a zombie? It looks like a mannequin. Eh, bloody mannequin. Okay. Not this way. Shut the fuck up, Carlos. Over there. Got to go grab assault rifle. Just come there. Yeah, the game just casually giving me upgrades instead of like putting them in interesting places where I could like, you know, find them or unlock them. No, I just put them like right in my path. Yeah, why don't you? Yeah, sure. Obviously. And I got the key. I'm getting really, really not good vibes from this. Got more ammo. But Phil, that would be a challenge, I guess. Yep. Uh, the key was used for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no voice found. Nurses Journal, September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium. So we have to put them in straitjackets and move them into the isolation wing. The problem is the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge, but what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothering me. But these, when these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told that it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw one of those guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What's going on? It's a zombie apocalypse. Ah, eh, shit, I want that one. Alright, that one is out of the way. Let's go get that one. Oh. Because we're going to be playing as gel when we come back.
dumbass. Oh boy. I don't have a grenade. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> we just woke them up. Wow, zombies. Wow. They scary zombies. Hello, Jill. You chilling out? Yep. Ah, shit. Fucking get the fuck out of here. Let's, let's go back. Spencer Memorial Pamphlet. Welcome to the Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of the Raccoon City's healthcare and forefront of science. The Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of the country's largest research wings, where we conduct clinical trials for the new drugs that will change the face of medicine across the United States and beyond. Yeah, it's controlled by Umbrella. Open that door. No. Are you able to spray gel with the heels? That would be cool. Hey, Tron, thank you for the one gift of membership. circles. Okay, well, there's the hunters. Fair enough. That was kind of cool. How's the game? <laughs> Nurses Journal, September 27th. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibit severe limb necrosis. It's zombies! It's zombies! It's zombies! Donker Young was bitten while treating one of the pa- It's zombies! Nothing works. It's zombies. We've called in off-duty staff. It's all zombies. We've got to contain the scales. It's zombies. It's zombies. The mystery patient illness is zombies. Uh, Dark Shadow says, I'm still confused about one thing. I'll let you speak. I'm still confused on one thing. Nemesis was deployed to kill the stars, so why was Mr. Dot X deployed again? Uh, Mr. Mr. X was deployed to kill every single person inside the RPD who could be 
witnesses to Umbrella's evil doings. By the way, um, S5 says, this area blows. Uh, I guess. Uh, by the way, just to let you know, we have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 item slots. I have not had to juggle around my inventory or use the item box in the slightest because I have so many... I have so many, like, guns and weapons and healing items and empty items. Like, I don't need to manage my inventory at all, even though that's one of the key tenets of survival horror, that you're supposed to be managing your inventory. So... Like, who cares, right? Yeah, hospital map, thank you. I really needed that, actually. Uh, maybe go back. Yo, hunters! This area blows. Yep. This is very mid, really. Um, Mr. X was Umbrella's witness protection program. Got it. Thank you, Phil. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Yo, boy. Nope, he's dead. Alright, this place is bloodied up to hell and back, so obviously some hunter's gonna show up, right? Memos from administration. ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off the hospital grounds or under any circumstances. Blah, 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 blah. Lost locker room key. Key to the locker room has gone missing. So I Mr. Have X it. was Umbrella's witness protection. Got it. Thank you, Phil. No problem, Dark Shadow. I feel like I was supposed to come over here first. There's this journal. We tried, I swear to God we did, but there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading in the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected will have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe that I, we, we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst thing imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking it, but I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant, and oh, and all we're left with now is the moaning of the dead and the sullen screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm sorry I failed you. Something's coming. Help me. That's the hunters. Hunter, 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 hunter. Uh, Pissweek says, this should have been COD Zombies DLC. Ah, oh, boy. Auto. Okay, that got me a little bit, I guess, but that was a repeat jump scare from RE4, uh, RE2 Remake, so I don't count it. That got me, like, a little bit. With the ID card. Flash grenade. And there we go. So we use the key item to get another key item. Got it. So let's go back and use that key item on the other key door. Ooh, Hunter Vision! That's kind of weird. Oh, you look weird, bro. Neat. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fuck you. Carlos punch. I know, right? They're cool. I love the hunters. Yeah, all right. So now that we have the ID card, which doors did we need to open again? Oh, thank you. 
Why does it move like that? Hunters are super fucking cool. Now, me, my only, like, prediction is that they're gonna be, like, two at max in each room. We'll have to see. We can't really use anything else, so we're gonna be using the flashbangs to escape them. Carlos, why can't you just, like, go under there? Okay, yeah, this is the uh, this is the ID card room. There you go. Ooh, you can see them like destroying people. Ooh. Absolute monsters. Yeah, see, this is Umbrella's, like, best soldier bioweapon. Like, the Tyrant was supposed to be the, um, the pinnacle of the T-Virus, but, like, these guys are just as cool. Super fucking deadly. Oh, great. So hunters are easy to make bioweapon soldiers, while tyrants are harder to make bioweapons in general? Yeah! Though so in the original story of the game, uh, like, Umbrella is supposed to develop uh, bioweapon, like, creatures, but in the remake story, they're supposed to be selling the viruses themselves? That's a bad... I guess they can't open a fucking door, though. Oh! I guess they can't open that fucking door, though. Yeah. Alright, 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 alright. Hello! Where's Peepee? -pee? Is he safe? Yes. And get the audio cassette tape, and get the fuck out of this room! Ooh. Yeah, see, this is the Resident Evil I love. Alright, and go back to the main door. Fucking run away! Wrong way, asshole. Don't worry, PP. PP will protect me. How can I get there? I can get there through there. Can I get up there? We'll have to see. We need to jump on the right side, and the right side is blocked, right? Yes, it is. No. Right side is blocked. Oh, we're supposed to go there. Eh. Oh my god, look at them! Yeah, they're not taking our shit. We need to go. That hunter heard you talking mad shit. Yeah, okay, this section is getting better just because of the hunters. But we need to go back to... Uh, that guy's place. Ooh, they're piling on! Well, we go. Fuck out of here.
Tape player inserted. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan changing waste of a nursing. Jesus. Oh, he did! Bard. Because of the hunters. Oh, no. Bard's dead. He's been shot. That was Nikolai, maybe. Shit. And the vaccine? I'm looking. I'm looking. Hold I'm harder. looking. There's gotta be a computer, right? Damn, bro, he dead. I didn't expect that. I mean, how were you gonna get out of... Like, how were you gonna get him out of there with the hunters roaming around? Banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Brad, Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet at September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone, SMZ. Attending will be Mayor Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, 1998. Or the Orient Restaurant, the Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honored if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Handwritten note. Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We've booked the suite for the usual after party. You're a brunette guy. I'll let Irons know. Ugh. Sure. We're supposed to be climbing out of there. Fucking Irons. Right. A email from Nathaniel Bard. To Greg Tester, reply immediately. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over the Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me, so I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus. The Holy Grail. And it's not for my family, not for my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States. But if you want the goods, Greg, you have got to get me out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. So if you see someone, if you if you can get a rescue team in here without UBCS involvement, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, which should sound pretty chast after the after parties we've gone to. Hurry, my time is running out. Nate. We're gonna use that on Jill. Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the, the T virus. virus my employer the umbrella corporation engineered this virus and they ordered my team to develop a vaccine which we did now i keep samples of this vaccine here in my office the rest of it is stored underground but those sons of bitches at the board they want to destroy it but why though they don't want the world to know what they've done Oh, fair enough. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... You're gonna die, bro. Umbrella Corporation. I got you knew all along. She trusted me anyway. Oh, yeah, right. This bitch doesn't know. Right. He needed to be told. <laughs> All right. All right, Carlos. You're a good one. Is it here? I like how this door, like, magically opened up for no reason. Was it because of we punched the monitor that it opened up? All right. Get to Jill. It's the only one in the world, but you're Jeez, gonna save some woman. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. careful. Super dead. <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a 
fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. All right. Go oh boy. Punch. Fuck you. Oh. I'm going. 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 I'm going, bro. I'm going, bro. Don't worry about me. Oh, don't slap my ass. Good thing that we killed all the zombies here on the way back. Nicely easy. Right. There we go. You're gonna be okay, Joe. Yo, Jill. Carlos coming in to save the day. That's a lot. You good, buddy? Good, buddy? Buenos dias, Carlos. Shit better work. Slaps his ass. Did he just use it all? Yes. Uh, Jill is now immune to every single virus in the entirety of RE lore. Tyrell, what the hell happened? Attention all citizens. The contagion spreading throughout the city. Everybody's gonna die. Completely destroyed in a Everybody's gonna die. Residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. Everybody's gonna die tonight. Everybody's gonna die tonight. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Nice. Fuck. Here they come. You sit tight. I got this. I was gonna be the big man. Ooh, we're gonna kill them all. Better grab some gear. Oh. It sounds like there's a lot of them out there. I don't really have anything. Have herbs. Yeah, this is gonna be a bitch. Worst part of the game is coming up. What do you mean? Shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off. This is so time. fucking different. It might as well not be like not be Resident Evil 3. This might be like this might as well just be a completely different game. Oh motherfucker! Okay, now the fun shit begins. Oh, this is. It's like the RE4 cabin sequence. <laughs> Carlos punch! Carlos punch! <laughs> oh boy. That's kind of neat, I guess. They're the heck? What the fuck? Oh. Alright, I guess this is just an arena. Survival Horror! Carlos Punch! Carlos Punch! Carlos punch. Love it. Yeah, whatever. 
Is it turning more into like a reimagining than a remake at this point? Kinda sounds like it. Pretty much. Why are they exploding? That's so dumb. I think your one knows. Uh, oh, Ari month is best month. Thank you, Jawan. one. It must be somewhere. Oh. Oh. Carlos punch. Carlos punch. Carlos punch. Oh boy. Oh no! <gasps> Punch! Alright. Okay. Dumbass, the door. Oh, yeah, right. Oh! 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 Ew! 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 Oh, I'm dead. Ooh, that's. Ooh, that's fucking disgusting. Continue. Tasted. Yeah, I, I forgot. I need to. I need to protect the the store, right? Okay. Now the fun shit begins. Eat asshole. Carlos punch. <laughs> I guess this is like a creative sequence. E. I'm loving the punch though. Why do they blow up? Oh, come on. Find the breaker. It must be somewhere. Okay, okay. Come on! 
nom 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 Super dead. Sook, 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 sook. I like that. The, I like that the hunter's just looking at me like, "What the fuck, bro?" That's just nasty. Back to it. No. Nope. Okay. Now the fun shit. Let's just conserve ammo. Never mind. Yeah, 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 shut up for a second. I can't shoot at the ones on the... on the outside. They're very low FPS as well, I just noticed. Yeah, you don't really need to go for headshots, you just, like, shoot them in the chest and it's over. Oh, there we go. Hello. Yep. Ellie is laughing. Thank you, this week. Oh my god. Oh, bro! No! Fuck you, man. Come on! Why are you not headshotting? Because it doesn't matter in this section. In this section, the only thing that you have to do is shoot them. The head doesn't matter because they just dissolve into fucking mush. But yeah, don't worry about it. Almost got it. Yeah. I thought it was a creative sequence. Turns out this is just caught zombies. Like, look, look, Nick. This is the reason for why I'm not shooting them in the ch in the in the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dead. One, two, three. Okay, dead. One. One, two, three. Damn it. it doesn't really matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Oh! Oh, the fuck? 
Yeah, it's only it's always seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's always seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It, it, she already disappeared the moment that I looked away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Why do I need to bother? Yeah, the only problem is gonna be the hunters now. Why should I aim for the head? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just click on them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Okay, now the actual threat comes around. Fuck you, Carlos Punch. Oh boy. Fucking die. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. oh my god! Always appearing behind me. Okay, so that one I also don't know how to deal with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's gonna stay there though, I think. No. Oh my god. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ugh. Take the healing. Okay, uh, fuck you guys. One, two, three, five, six, seven. I was listening to some guy talk about why Twitter hates one, two, three, five, six, seven. What did Whoa. I miss? punch all right uh, last wave I guess one two one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven oh no lost counts Uh, 
Oh boy. One, two, three. Blah, 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 blah. Now I just gotta clean up. Shut the fuck up, Carlos. <sighs> and you blow up already. Place the detonator. Hold out until the explosion. Oh, hey, look, a healing spray. There we go. Yeah. That's so cool. Open up the fucking door. Not even close. But at least it's over. At least I don't have many much bullets left. I'm coming back. That's oh cool, the music. Video. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. You literally injected the cure into jail. Ballsy motherfucker. All right. Man, I'm still so fucking salty about the RPD. There's more than one dose. Eightfold. They literally said it was only one dose. In the game. Oh, thank God you're okay. Man, you felt you fell in love with her really super hard. It's over now. The city's safe. Are you having fun yet? No, for the fox. Oh, it's a nightmare. Yeah. That's cool, I guess. This wasn't in the original one. game. Cool. Maybe you could have put the time and effort you made to animate that cutscene into making the FUCKING CLOCK TOWER! Where am I? What's going on? Oh. Attention all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. October 1st, 1998. all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate now. Yeah, you slept for a whole day, Jill. Did Carlos just leave her there? October 1st, 12, uh, 12 a.m. Spencer Memorial Center. Yep, I guess Carlos just left her there. That was a fucking horrible sequence. The only reason the hospital took even, like, long at all was because, like, I PURPOSEFULLY, like, made that sequence longer. Oh, look at- oh, look at all that ammo. Oh, boy, look at that, all that ammo. That's wonderful. Do I even need to care about finding items anymore? I have so much- so many fucking guns. Hmm. This is supposed to be hardcore mode, by the way, people. Yep. I just lose this. There we go. We got one slot left. And put that there, and put that there, put that there. Uh, what the fuck is this gun about? Why did they give me this gun? 
Squeeze pee pee once more. I guess we just uh, leave. Uh, oh, okay, another cutscene. Okay, fine. Jesus Christ! Grief! Fuck! I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. There's so Crazy. many fucking cutscenes. Just let me play the fucking game. To give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. And why are you here? I'm trying to get a hold of someone, oh. anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Ah, uh, sure, Jill. Guess I'm not talking to you out. Head to the it's underground the facility. I'm I'm just leaving him to talk. Then. Uh, He's a super cop. Oh boy, underground we go. We're gonna go into the nest now. Where's the junkyard? Remember the junkyard? That was a cool area in Resident Evil 3. Are we not gonna go there for the final area? I guess not. Well, you can go back to the hospital to get more items. Who gives a shit? Why would I care? I'm flushed with ammo and weaponry and health. There's a Magnum. I have a fucking grenade launcher. With like ten rounds. How is it no one in the hospital ever noticed all this? Ha! Just go into the hallway. This is just a giant fucking hallway. Every single fucking area in this entire fucking game is just a giant hallway with maybe like a loop in there or, or two. Oh my god, even more! Even more! More space to carry my shit. Elevator notice. To all employees, we've identified an issue with the electrical box where current use of heavy machinery overloads and causes fuses to blow. If you encounter this problem and can't get the elevator running, please stay calm. Gather fuses from the sub-generators situated around the warehouse and use the restore power from the main generator as quickly as possible. You act like it didn't, you didn't get this much space in the RE2 remake. No, the RPD was a memorable location with lots of rooms to explore and lots of puzzles to go around. This is just a fucking hallway with some loops. Also, by the way, I guess we're in the lab final section of the game now. That flew by. Alright, let's go. It's kind of cool, I guess. Yo, Nikolai, wanna have a boss fight? Don't fucking compare this game to the RPD. They, they, this game had the RPD! And it only used it for a fucking hallway! Again! And use this. Gather the two I fuses. I respect your tenacity. Or zero. But oh, no, three fuses. Why are you? You think this is over? Asshole. Oh, what the fuck is that? Hello? Oh my god! 
That's kind of cool, I guess. Cool new enemy, I guess. How many rounds do I have to pump into you? Bye bye, idiot. Even more ammo. Oh, let's go into a, another loop. Yeah, Think oh. about it like this. Right. The faster you go, the quicker you can go to bed and the sooner you can play oh. RE5 with Nick. That's true, Cuboid. Oh, 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 Whoa, hello there, whoa. 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 Do a big circle to get that fuse over there. <sighs> a dead end. No, wait. Shut the fuck up, Jill. Jill Valentine can jump over some boxes, as usual. Oh, shelter holder. Oh, nice. Original RE3 had the clock tower, the fox park, the graveyard. Yeah, what about the big fucking worm? I forgot about that guy. Because he's not there anymore. Employee memo. Uh, admitted, discarded, admitted, discarded, admitted, discarded. No specimens, disposal trending upwards daily. Nightly transfer of observed by nurse. Admissions to the underground facility temporarily halted. Yep. Which boy? RE3 compressed edition. You can't really call it compressed when the ingredients aren't fucking there. Thank you, Gabriel. Oh my fucking god. At least I know I can skip this game after I'm done with these two. Just god, this looks so unfun, so boring. It's fine. It's fine. It's like... It's serviceable. Uh. Yeah. A galaxy. All right, neat. Put this one there. Why am I even bothering? Uh. Welcome, Galaxy, to the toxic cesspit. Where, where's the last fuse? Somewhere around here, I guess. Well, what a what a scary new enemy. Very scary. 
Very scary enemy. I forgot about the first one. A scary new enemy. What a scary monster. Very scary. Fuse is like right there. I need to go over here on the right and do that. Yeah, okay. Big fucking circle, ladies and gentlemen. Big fucking circle. Amazing. Go up there. Oh. oh. Go over there. I'll have to find a way back in there somehow. Looping loop. I'll get to the third fuse at some point, I guess. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. Is there no background, like, music background sounds? Like, industrial ambience, I guess. I really want to play RE3 original right now. Would you guys be up for, like, a classic Resident Evil PS1 games stream? I would really like to stream those. That'd be fun. Then you can- then you guys can know what the- like, the real RE3 is like. Not this. And this is not- like, I'm- I'm- I'm talking like this is bad, but... Oh wow, it's a zombie! Wow! Oh my god! Zombies! Oh... Oh my god, they're back! Okay, that's a bit more threatening. Alright, here goes. Oh my Fuck Christ. I don't fucking know that that thing was gonna happen. Finally, make it to a Phil live stream after months. Thank you, Galaxy. Hey. You haven't. You you didn't arrive at like a like a exciting time, but uh, welcome. Super pollo. How's the game been so far? <laughs> like, this is digestible, I guess. Oh no, they're getting up. Oh no. I have so many fuck, so much fucking ammo. I don't need to worry about shit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, I guess. Fucking sniped from across the map. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Oh! All right, let's try to find a way to get through this. Heal. 
Yeah, sure, buddy. You know, for a game about spacing, having an enemy that snipes you from across the room is not really fun, actually. That is gonna be so good. And still get through it, Phil. Yep. What if I okay, hold on a second. Let me try something. What if I just literally literally just walk through them? Never mind. That's a bad plan. Alright. Time for jail to get bored, I guess. Hmm. Explosive. Didn't you store a red herb? Yeah, that is very useful to me right now. useful right now doesn't use it hey hey buddy portal rifter hey 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 buddy want to see me use the red herb hey you want to see me use the red herb look hey hey look at this i can totally use it right right yeah i can totally use it yes thank you Maybe I have an idea over here, hold on. This is gonna work. Just Holy. finished making a DD map of the main Spencer mansion. Now I need to oh. go to bed and work a 12 hour shift of six hours. What a wonderful enemy. And you shoot them from up there? Oh my god. Thank you for that suggestion. That is a- That one's a very useful suggestion. Why are they walking around in 10 FPS? Whoever suggested that, thank you. Nice. 
Vesna, play the real RE3. I'll probably do that later. Shit, he got away. Unfinished activity log, blah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. Infiltrated the R's, uh, raccoon seed disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission, observed five RPD officers engaging in pack 20 strong, officers unallied in 20 minutes. Test run at university, diverted pack campus, 64% affection and conversion in two hours, no survivors. Successful rendezvous, MV platoon will make first attempt at dawn. Diverted pack toward command post, result night skirmish in confined area with large number of combatants, video attached. End of skirmish, seven survivors, by unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18, tracking it per orders, appears to be on the hunt. Got eyes on two stars, on a male and a female bioweapon pursuing the female. Female J Jell Jell Valentine has made contact with MV Platoon. Bioweapons appearance and behavior are inconsistent with Project N investigating of CERT bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine and knows the silly city layout, evidence that can be imprinted. Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by hostile encounter with Jill Valentine. Jill Valentine has been infected and is non responsive, collected samples per orders. Over 17 hours have elapsed since Jill Valentine's exposure to virus. Rachel has been slow, suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered by Jill Valentine by uh, Carlos, a uh, soldier and the MV platoon. Jail Valentine expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post exposure. Seems to be clear that the bioweapon is Project Nemesis. Contact with Jail Valentine causes it to change and evolve. It will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. All right. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. He's gonna die. Uh, they'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This okay. Way. Let's waste one more second. Uh, nowhere. Okay, got it. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Oh, look at that big hallway. That's a big hallway. Sure big, you stop? big, big stop hallway. I got your back. You're All gonna right. die. Let's get this done. You got a big arm, buddy. Big hallway. Cool guys. Dead. Look at you. You look lame. Dead. And Macis. He doesn't even have a hole through his chest. Yep. Welcome to the lab. I don't really have anything to say, really. It's just, yep. The game. I guess, like. Oh, neat. There we go. Let me just stop the, the beating hard for a second. <gasps> no. Nest 2, employee regular. Oh my god, Nest 2? 
Ugh. Attention, Nest 2 employees. The objectives of the T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of Fact suppressing bioweapons. probably knew, Resident Evil 3 wasn't supposed to be a sequel, it was supposed to be a spin-off game called Resident Evil Nemesis. Uh, fun fact, Bomberman, it wasn't even supposed to be called Resident Evil Nemesis, it was supposed to be called Resident Evil Last Escape. But yes. Code Veronica was initially supposed to be the true sequel, like Resident Evil 3, but that project got so out of fucking hand that they decided to just slap it on Resident Evil Nemesis instead. Anyways, uh, here we focus on real-world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, as it is imperative that all the- So much fucking exposition. Oh, one fucking long hallway. I just realized something. This is the hospital. They have nest ones uh, close to the RPD. This is next to the hospital, which is like a few, like a train right away. Why would they have two super mega massive research uh, lab centers, like literally right next to each other? Why, Umbrella? Why? Oh, great. That's not even a real corpse. Umbrella just likes their big labs, I guess. None of these are real corpses. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override key removed. Flash drive. Are those tyrants? Ooh, are those tyrants? Let me see, I wanna go down there. That sounds like a bobblehead. The other side up here. Why does this give me Metroid vibes? Because uh, they have a super science facility in 1998. Touch panels and shit. I don't give a shit. I thought the vaccine that they gave to Jill was the only vaccine. Culture sample, okay. I might be able to use this to synthesize the vaccine. Oh, there we go. No, why are you gray? What did I miss? Ah, uh, it's boring as fuck. Weapon reauthorization request. Yep. 
Very threatening final enemies. Uh, scientist dying message. It happened. Our worst case scenario. The T-Virus somehow leaked under the orders of Dr. Bard. A manufacturing mass quantities of the vaccine. I prepared for that, 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 that. Finally. Let me guess, this is the uh, weakness of the pale heads or whatever the fuck. You know that their weakness is just literally two shotgun rounds to the face. Oh my fucking ammunition. I'm a genius. This must be what powers it. Amazing. Wow, it's like it's like a it's like a brand la uh... Fuck off. Oh wow, look, we solved the puzzle, guys. Look! We went here, but it was locked, so we went into this other path, and then we opened the door that was here. Wow! Survival horror. Hey, those are those are tyrants. That's pretty cool. Wow, that's awesome. Ooh, those are hunters. Jesus. Is this where they're made? Yeah. So cool. That's actually actually kind of. These are tyrants. These are yeah. These are Mr. X's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's that's kind of neat. I like them. Ooh, that one's a fat boy. That's neat. I guess that's kind of cool. Dead researcher. Out of the way. You always know what to say, Jill. Even Jill wants to get this done quickly, I noticed. Those bitches are annoying. <laughs> uh, can I combine this with anything? Nope. I fight the hunters again. Expression of concern. Blah 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 blah. It's called a nemesis. Nemesis. Liquid test tube, inventory full. Part this. Okay, this looks like I can use some vaccine development. Wow, you're a scientist, Joel. You're so fucking smart. Get the fuck out of there. You have to go all the way back. Oh no, it's a vaccine. Never mind. This is technically a vaccine, but it needs to be processed for distribution. Perhaps there's equipment for that purpose. Okay, where? In... There? Yes. Go back the way we came. Discard the lockpick. Oh, sure. Thank you.
Jill, 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 Nye, the science guy. Jill, 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 Jill. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, fuck. Nice. They hate it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jail Nye, the science guy. Finally, I love you hunters, they're so cool. The hunters are so fucking cool. Like, un unironically, they're the greatest. A bit more scary in the RE1 remake, though. Inertia is a property of matter. Jail, 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 jail. Jill Nye, the science girl. Oh boy. Oh boy! Jill Nye, the science gal. Oh wow, those fuckers bite hard. Ah oh, shit, was I not supposed to go here? Oh, I'm sorry. What the fuck? Damn it. Whatever, we'll come back in like a few seconds. The new game. There's a checkpoint every five seconds here, so why should I bother? Punch. Yep, let's go back. Backtracking, backtracking. Well, I guess I get to fight the, the hunters again. That's cool. It's just lit. Like, I'm very sorry that I'm not very, like, I'm not really speaking much at the moment, but, like, I don't really know what to say, man. It's just, yeah, you know, like, ooh, action. I've been hit. Oh boy. That's cool, I guess. Oh boy.
Oh, right, I have a fourth pistol. I forgot about my fourth pistol. Holy shit, why did that bro take so much? What the fuck is wrong with this one? Oh, there we go. Alright, let's actually go through the correct door this time. Amazing. Where are we supposed to go? Uh, bu -bu 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 this, this way? Yeah. Are you having fun yet? I was having fun in like the first few hours, like the first hour of this game. But, you know, when Nemesis was like an actual threat and not like a set piece. Next is a matching puzzle, I'm calling it. I don't think there's any puzzles in this game, dude. There was like one. Oh, I've never been through here. I'm gonna instantly die because of this, maybe? No. Oh boy, oh boy. Isaac's Graves Diary. Uh, Fisnum, has the game felt hard or easy in hardcore mode? The game has been super fucking easy, except on single parts where I have to try like 15 times and then I get it. So... You tell me, buddy. Yeah, where are we supposed to synthesize the... This big machine thing? There we to go. Begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. Was the dodge thing, uh, in the original RE3? Yes, it was! Though the mechanic was admittedly much worse. Mid, 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 just like this game. Oh, I, I just pressed buttons. I have no idea what I did. I have, I literally have no idea what I did. I have literally no idea what I did. I just pressed a random sequence of buttons and I did it. Nice. Purple. I literally have no idea what I did there. I just pressed random buttons. Hello, Nemi. Very dangerous, Joe. Just get the fuck back up. Save the facility. Don't worry, Phil. Daddy Nem Nemi will be here to cheer you up. Ah. Uh. Hello. You look fucking lame. Yay. 
I remember the the junkyard. Oh, quick time events? Are you kidding me? That's great. Who the fuck put this in the game? Boo. Boo. I'm, I'm not even... There we go. Uh, uh, by the way, you don't even need to press W, you need to hold down W. You know that RE4 remake is getting rid of QTEs, right? For a good reason, too. Get the fuck out of here. Wow, that was so exciting. I don't have a way- oh, let me get the knife. The fact that through that that throughout my entire playthrough, I've only had like four items or less in my item box is a fucking crime. These item boxes are supposed to be here if you run out of space in your inventory. I've never had any problems with my inventory management, even though that's kind of the whole point of survival horror. Artface says, are, why are you playing RE6? Ugh. Disposal center. Blah, 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 whatever. What in God's name is this? Place? Shut the fuck up, Jill. Yeah, more ammo. He's not wrong. Blah. Hello, Ustanag. Hello, Nikolai. Nikolai don't. The city needs that vaccine. More than I do. I don't think wisdom has been trying to impart He's on such you a like now I know cartoon villain. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there. Battle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat up. Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. Time to kill him. Hello, Nick. You just got back for the final boss. That entire Nest 2 sequence was lame as fuck. Let's see if you hold up any better. This is literally just the boss fight from the clock tower. This is literally just the boss fight from the clock tower. Literally the same attacks. But he's like bigger. Oh, he's dead! <laughs> 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 Jill, oh my god! Okay, phase two, I guess.
So, uh, Nick, did I need that Magnum? I guess I should have used the Mine Browns for this. Oh, great. Boss fight ads. Oh. Right, okay. Oh, ah, shit. Oh, okay. Thank you, Nemi. Think RE2 remake was good. Well, check this out. Proceeds to fall flat on their face. Fucking die. Nemesis is hiding? Nemesis is hiding? Are you kidding me? Okay. Ah! Uh, so fucking annoying. I know. He's behind number six. Yeah. Yeah. Big ass weak point. Wow, that is very threatening. Oh, there we go. Yeah, ring around the rosy, buddy. Ring around the rosy. Oh, okay. I guess what was he gonna? Oh, he's gonna do that. Oh, good. Oh, he's gonna do that. Oh, that's so amazing. Oh, what he gonna do now? Oh, he gonna. Oh, yeah, he gonna do that. Okay. Yep, that's. Here comes some more. Shut up. Where's the item here? I saw an item like over here. He's behind number three. Yeah. Shut up, Carlos. Yeah. Whenever I don't have any ammo left. Whenever Hades behind the tank, I just hear Phil from Kingdom Hearts yelling, get on top of the Hydra's back. He is so threatening. There was like some ammo over here, I think. Carlos is trying to fight, uh, hype this fight up, but I don't think you can do that, buddy. Oh, there we go. There's there's some things. There's some shotgun shells. He's hiding behind tank four. Got it. I can't. I can't shoot it, Carlos. Carlos. I can't shoot it with the shotgun, Carlos. <sighs> Great. Carlos is having fun, at least. Yeah! <laughs> oh boy, this is so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my god, Nemi. What have they done to you?
Is that you? Shut the fuck up. You're doing the speeny. My little boy Nemi got the sumis. My boy Nemi got the sumis. He having fun. He having a lot of fun. My boy Nemi doing the sumis. He having so much fun. Oh, he's he's oh 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 ow oh, ow oh, ow oh, ow. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, he got the sumis again. Oh, he got the sumis again. Oh, good boy Nemi. Good boy Nemi. He doing a he doing a funny. Hold on. Ah, damn it. Come out and play, shitbird. This boss fight is worse than a boring ride in train simulators. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love it when I when I am doing a boss fight, I don't actually get killed by the boss, but by the fucking bonus enemies that spawn in the arena. That's my favorite way to die to a boss. That's my favorite. Why are you standing there, bro? You're like a dog. The ultimate bio weapon. A dog. Oh, my boy Nebby got the Sumis again. Oh, the boy's doing a silly. Watch it, you've got company. He's hiding behind Take Eight. Now, rip that fucker apart. You know what? You fuckers die. Ooh. Oh, my boy Nemi got the Sumis again. What a good boy. Shut the fuck up, Carlos, sort sort of guy. Throwing a temper tantrum. Go, doggy, go. Got some more coming. Go, doggy, go. Oh. What? 
Oh, fuck! I was distracted. Come on! Yeah, yeah. Zoomies. Nope, can't get him early. I don't fucking care. Fucking die. There we go, he dead. Oh, no, no, he not dead. And I'm out of ammo again. Got some more incoming. <sighs> Number seven. Surprise, asshole. Oh, there we go. Gonna die? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Chill. Thank you, Carlos. Use it to climb up. I like how the Nemesis, like, 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 version one Nemesis, the bipedal one, had more attacks than this bitch. Like, the the basic OG Nemesis had more attacks than this guy. Tell me that wasn't the final boss, right? Yeah, uh, so the final boss was a rehash of the clock tower boss that I didn't even I like. To get that vaccine back. So that was Clock Tower Nemesis Part 2, I guess. I'm getting so fucking pissy, I apologize. People are probably annoyed by how pissy I'm getting, but like, you gotta be, give me a fucking break, come on. Also, fuck you. That was not the final boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need we need to like put him in against like a big like collider. I don't know what the final boss of RE3, but it was like luring him into like a giant collider thingy. I hope they kept that at least, you know. It's done. Give me the vaccine. Like uh, the ending to RE3 Chill. was going into a factory and like uh, powering up a big collider and putting Nemesis in between go. two gigantic go, go, go. power thingies, you know. And that was cool. How do we make this? Oh my god. Are you trying to do G5? Is this G5? Have you have you ever seen anything so incredible? It's just disgusting. The data on this would be worth millions. What data? Well, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck. Just die already, Nikolai. Nikolai. Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. And what about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I have like 15 bullet bullets. Look, That's just G5. Just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Look at that anime boss fight. Oh, brother.
I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. That's like the reminds me of like the final boss of like dead like dead space, you know. Oh my god. Fuck off. Yeah, this is like the like the final boss of dead space. That is so. That's a, this is a. Yeah. Yep. Oh! 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 What is this? Oh. 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 One stars. I'll, I'll, I'll give you stars. Mm. Damn, it needs power. Did the pavement fucking crack behind you, Jill? Is okay. Got it. Go ahead. I'm gonna put you right back on your This is fucking stupid. Oh, is he glowing? Oh. He's extra mad now. He he's he's super nemesi. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's gonna Oh what the actual fuck, really? Now you're putting me Oh I don't even care, I just want to get this over with. Like, you know, like, not taking off the sprays at least poses, like, a little bit of a challenge, you know? But, like, why why would I want to repeat this? 
<laughs> I like that she says that as she gets smacked. Got it, how about some more instantly dies? Yeah, the dead space, uh, never mind, the dead space, uh, the dead space uh, boss was better than this. I have full, full ammo. Just fucking skip it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Jill. Do you know this, uh, you know in the hardest difficulty of this game, any hit either insta-kills you or locks you into a combo that gets you killed? That sounds, that sounds fair and balanced. How's the suffering going, Phil? I really want to play Resident Evil 4 Remake, uh, Kasu. I would really like that. He got- oh, he- he going- he going- Oh my god, just fucking kill me already. No, I didn't mean that. Ah! Uh, I shouldn't have asked. Me, doggy, bad. You want stars? I'll give you stars. I mean, you guys do know that Resident Evil 3 isn't even like the best game of all time, right? Just, eh. This is like way worse. Just click, click, click. You don't even need to aim, just click. Shut up, Jill. Give him a belly rub. Ah! Fuck, no.
just standing there. You know, at least G5 had the decency to just move forward, you know? Final stretch? Yup. Yup. Go ahead! I'm gonna put you right back on your ass. Uh, Kasui says, not gonna lie, you should check out High on Life if not already done. Yeah, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool game. NGL, you should check out High on Life if not already done. Yeah. Maybe. What a fucking dumb weapon.
How the fuck? Does shooting him even do anything? I need to shoot the Sids to make sure that he goes down so I can do the thingy. You need to shoot the big ol' glowing weak spot. Square up. Shut the fuck up. How the fuck do you avoid that attack? Alright, finally it's done. All power sources activated. I am sick of power sources. Yeah. You want stars? I'll give you stars. Oh, go oh, fuck off. You want stars? Uh, ah. Oh. Next time, take the fucking hit. Yeah, oh that Oh, what a cool one-liner. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. Good riddance. Oh, shut the fuck up. The fuck was this room's purpose? Where we go? There's a ladder. There we go. This room was specifically crafted for your boss fight. Uh. I just remembered something. The reason for why Nemesis was so fucking threatening and mutated in the original Resident Evil 3 was not because of no reason, but it was because he was EATING Mr. X's on the factory, final factory level. Why the fuck is this guy mutating again? Hey, Pfizer's Tephalopogus. I'm Honey. gonna cook dinner tomorrow. Any requests? Pasta. Pasta would be nice. But yeah, the, 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 like, he was supposed to be eating or consuming Mr. X's. I guess that plot point got dropped and scrapped. Just like everything else in this game.
He was mutating because there's a shit ton of bodies in the vat with him. You mean the bodies that got burnt in acid? Yeah. There was a vat full of Mr. X's back at the lab. Why couldn't he have eaten those? Hello, Carlos. Holy shit, just die already. You're not going to stop. Promised you this, didn't you? No! Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And that is my cue. Goodbye. Carlos gonna 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 rescue Jill. Okay, so why didn't Nikolai just kill Carlos while he was on the floor? Carlos was just sleeping on the floor waiting for the his cue. Wow, that's a cool action movie. Shoot him! 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 You have to! Shoot him! There's no other way! Oh my god, DBC moment. Carlos! Wow, what a cool. Hey. If I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world, that would just be too cruel. I love you, Carlos. DBC moments. You shot him in the head, he's clutching his arm. Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. I don't care. Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. I can barely hear the dialogue with the helicopter in the back. I can't hear you. I don't mind a little detective work. Cool. <laughs> Didn't Nikolai live in the OG if you got the good ending? Yeah, yeah. He gets the fuck away, but I guess he doesn't hear. Bye bye, idiot. No stars friend to rescue. Yeah, right. You were supposed to be rescued by fucking Barry. Where's Barry? Where the fuck is Barry? Never mind. Bye bye. Who gives a shit? Bye bye, Raccoon City. There goes the greatest waste of potential in this entire franchise. It's finally over. Shut up. So long, Marcy. Uh, Tigera says, so wait. Oh, hold on. The blast washed over us. This death wasn't caused by a monster making the virus. It was. It was greed. No, no, it was caused by the virus, though. Human greed. No. It was the virus. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes, too. I would end them. Once and for all. Okay. Uh, so Tigera asks, so wait, the, this game takes place before RE2, but then the city get, gets blown up? No, that's because RE3 takes place before, during, and after RE2. It takes place in, in September 28th, which is one day before RE2. It takes place on September 29th, which is during RE2. And it takes place in October, which is after RE2. So Leon already got out of the police station by the time that... 
uh, Jill got out of the hospital. Proceeds to turn into a blonde weirdo. Oh yeah, Jill didn't even do anything over the course of the story after this. She literally just got kidnapped by Wesker and turned into like a evil, blonde, sexy, kung fu fighting, karate, evil crow lady. Oh, well, at least we're gonna have fun with Nick uh, tomorrow for RE5. I guess. Such a good story. Well, you know, that's how uh, Resident Evil stories go, actually. <sighs> Is there any uh, post credit scene? Yes. The fuck was that? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, we already saw that she had the fucking vial. What? What does that even matter? Okay, thank you. Fuck you. Cheese. Cheese. No point to the post credit scene. We already saw that she had the vial. I don't like this game. Oh! That's Resident Evil 3 Remake! You know, just in case, uh, we, we only saw this asshole, like, like this guy, this guy on the title cover, we only saw him for like 30 minutes. Then he just became a set piece. You do know that in the original RE, like the original RE3, like RE3 Nemesis, this dude stalked us for pretty much like 80% through the game. Like, he, he chased us through the suburbs, he chased us through the RPD, I don't think he chased us through the hospital, but like, he was like this, he was bipedal and mobile and angry pretty much throughout the entire thing until you get to the factory where, where he like consumes all the Mr. X bodies. Which is not a thing in this remake, either. And the clock tower also. He also changes through the clock tower, but... The clock, th clock tower is not in this remake, either. And... Jail section on the RPD is not in the remake. There is so much more that wasn't in the remake that I didn't remember wasn't there. That is crap. This game would have been much better if he chased you through at least uh, one more section. Yeah, Hatster. At least it wouldn't have been pointless hallways. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, throughout the entirety of this playthrough, you saw how I found a locked door, then I went into a hallway, and then found a key, and then went all the way around, back around, to get the door. That's not how survival horror is supposed to work. I mean, it's supposed. I mean, I guess you could say that's how survival horror is supposed to work, but usually it has like a lot more rooms and like puzzles and like you know stuff to it. Yeah. Hmm. That was shit. I mean, I guess if you played this game without any knowledge of the previous RE games, you would find it cool. I guess. But, this is like the most milk toast, like, safe. It's like, like, this this game reminds me of, like, RE Revelations or, like, RE Revelations 2, you know? Like, that's the kind of level that I'm talking about. Like, it's not outright horrible, like RE6, but it's not really anything special. It would put it, like, under there, like, like where Revelations 1 and 2 sit around. I think I would just play the original, really. The original has a lot more content. You guys know- Oh, by the way, I, you, most of you guys haven't played the original RE3. Did you guys know that in the original RE3, you can choose to fight Nemesis instead of doing scripted sequences with him? And if you do choose to fight him, then you get the spare parts. And if you don't cho choose to fight him, you go into different paths in Raccoon City. 
Like, you can go into different places, and there's, like, random events. You didn't- like, did we go into the park? We didn't even go to the park. Like, it's very cool, because you can replay the game and get different stuff, like, go into different areas, depending on if you fight Nemesis or not. Like, there's a sequence where, like, Jill, like, like, jukes Nemesis out and pushes him out the- like, out of a bridge. Like, that was cool. There's, like, an entire park with, like, hunters around that it can jump out of the water. Ugh. There was an entire, like, boss fight with a gigantic worm. Ugh. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess that's it. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be playing RE5 with Nick. That's gonna be fun. That's not really survival horror, but it's a pretty cool co-op game. So that's gonna be nice. Yeah. I think it's gonna be nice. Uh, I was really afraid in this stream that I was going to be very disappointed and very quiet because I was going to be uh, angry that they cut out so much from this game and my suspicions were correct. So, good stream, I guess. Uh, good job, everybody. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. I uh, think you, mi mixed bag Gamer. Is there anything from RE4 you're hoping is still there in the remake? The big fucking Salazar statue that chases you in the castle. Is there anything from RE4 you're hoping is still there in the remake? Yes. Uh, the big ass Salazar statue from the castle. I really hope they get to that one. It's very unlikely, but if they do, then it's gonna be awesome. Alright. Bye bye, Ochara. Bye bye, Dave the Chiller. Bye bye, Rachel. Bye-bye, Jack Old Lantern. Bye-bye, Definitely Not a Robot. Bye-bye, Turtle King. Bye-bye, Voidless Nick. Bye-bye, Kenzie. Bye-bye, Apollo. Bye-bye, Ashers. Bye-bye, Channel Creepix. Bye-bye, Dave. Wix Boy. Yeah, Viagra Buffalo. Cuboid. Cozy Skulls. Michael Link. Neon Ice Cream. Bye-bye, Mr. Grottle. Old Man Games. Glitchy Stick. Bye, Tiberius, Suki, Press X to Jason, Mixback Gamer, El Rat, Digolite, Apier, Star Dream, A Rex, Nope, 2008. Ah, I don't really have the spirit for this. I knew that the game was going to be bad, but I didn't know it was going to be that bad. Shit. I guess I don't need to play it again. Bye, Neon the Cartoon. Bye, bye Rocky. Bye, bye Chucky Skip. Bye, bye, Super Raptor. Octo Joker. Bye, bye Boof. Bye, bye Gabriel. Bye, bye, Top Top Hatter. Dave's a chiller. Kane says, New Simon model will cheer you up. Ah, uh, I guess. Yay! I love this menu music, by the way. Wow. 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 So memorable. 